Hello and welcome back to Alien, here on Dork Tales. This is Chariot of the Gods, part two. And I am your mother, Kelly. Uh, at least that's what the game tells me that I am. Uh, hi everybody, I'm your game master, uh, also called Mother in the Alien role-playing game. Uh, my name's Kelly, I use he and him as my pronouns, and I'm excited to be here tonight because I'm going to kill these people. And it's going to be a lot of fun because this game is full of tension, dread, drama, and and... A lot of great stuff. So big thank you to uh, Free League Publishing for providing us with this module and the tools to run this game. Thank you so much. I hope you're uh, enjoying this as much as we are. Uh, so let's do a quick round of introductions and then let's head back into the horror, uh, starting with James. Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am James and I am playing Captain Vincent Miller. Uh, I use he, him pronouns and so does the captain. Uh, and yeah, I think that's about it. Nice. All right. Over to Robin. Hello everyone, I'm Robin, I use she, her pronouns, and I'm playing uh, Leah Davis, the pilot who uh, also uses she, her pronouns, and uh, I hope I hope she dies horribly and painfully. All right, All right. down to Krista. Oh my, what an energy we brought. Uh, hi, I'm Krista, uh, I use she, her, or they, them pronouns, um, and I am playing uh, Kayla Rye, uh, one of our two roughnecks, well I suppose our only roughneck now, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited to be back. Uh, I do apologize for not having the same costuming, this is going to be posted at a weird time, but it's right in the middle of my moves, and I'm just, I've lost my hat. <laughs> You just lost. You just lost your hat in the space, like in the. That, that's exa it, it's off in space. Exactly. Just, I didn't. It, it wasn't my in fault. Space. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, welcome back, uh, Christine. Hello, I'm Christine. Um, I use she/her pronouns, and I am playing Lydia Champ or Lucas. Um, you can use she, her, he, him, or they, them pronouns. Lucas could be the last name. It could be the first name. It's, it, you know, it's the future. It could be, it's, it could be an It's a singular name. name. That's all they have. So, the, and they are the android. So, yeah. A little bit of everything. Nice. All right. And finally. And I, look, I am looking very much forward to dying catastrophically. It's okay. Then, uh, I want to die. Act I actually have a note at the beginning of this. Ask how much they want to be hurt. So thank you for answering that. Uh, I actually want to die. I rarely die. I want this to happen. I've been trying you want my all dice? of the last game that you guys have already seen the entire time to die. I kept going down things by myself, alone, volunteering to go off and sit in like weird tunnels, <laughs> fixing so, things so by myself and I still Kelly. didn't die. Kelly will roll for you. It's true. You guys just switch who from the roll. <laughs> It'll be it'll be fine. It'll be swell. Um, all right, and then finally, hey Mike. Hi everyone, it's me, Michael, going with he him pronouns, and wondering how the hell did I get on a ship full of lemmings? I mean, they just like want to throw themselves into the fan blades. I don't get this. But I I have less of an ambition to die horribly, which means I'm probably most likely to like have something burst out of my chest and eat everyone else. So, eh, we'll find out what happens. That's love. Um, all right, so uh, with that, uh, we're going to start game. So just a quick reminder uh, for those of you who did not tune in last time. By the way, there, there's a previous episode. You should probably go watch that. A uh, quick thank you. This is a an advanced game for all of our supporters on patreon.com slash dorktales. Thank you so much for supporting us, everybody. We really appreciate it. This uh, is coming out when we're around 80 Patreon supporters, which is a just a mind-boggling amount of support. Uh, I hope that by the time we record another one of these, because we're trying to get one of these out at least once per month for you, uh, for all of you $5 tier and up people, that uh, we'll be looking at like 100 you know. Um, so thank you so much for all of your support. And uh, if you are watching this later, as it is broadcast openly to the entire world, think of all of the episodes you could be watching if you just went to patreon.com slash dorktales. Boom, there's my shill until the very end of the episode. Uh, all right, so last episode. Uh, the first episode, you all are members of, well, uh, what was the USS Montero. The Montero, or probably not USS, that's uh, Federal, I've been watching a lot of Star Trek recently. Um, the Montero. It's got way more letters in it. Yeah, it's the... Um, this, yeah, there's a lot. US -S -S? This, the CBC Montero, yeah. The Canadian Broadcast Corporation US Montero. USCSS. USCSS. Okay. Uh, the Montero is a... Um, is basically a freighter ship that's transporting some very um, volatile uh, material that is slowly uh, 
slowly um, dissolving down into a fuel source. As you awake from cryo, you discover that you are moving off track. Your, your computer's mother system responding to a distress call from an ancient ghost ship called the USCSS Cronus, a Wayland SEV M3 uh, Heliades, Heliades? Heliades class spacecraft that was launched somewhere in the 2110s. By the time you get there, you deduce that this ship has been missing for more than three quarters of a century. Running on minimal power, with all exterior and interior lights off, you almost crash into it. It's only by the deft work of your pilot that you do not die in a, f well, not flaming because it's space, but in a, in a horrible collision. Uh, and you board it, finding that there are a number of strange anomalies aboard sensor readings going haywater or haywire air fil filters uh air scrubbers being completely offline and the what little air circulation there is is spreading the these strange floating spores throughout the ship you're finding bodies you're finding medical oddities as well as a few members of the previous crew which once was in the dozens now dropped down to a mere five. The ones who you have with you are Albert Johns, the uh, former second in command of the vessel. Now it's its first officer. Valerie Reed, a, uh, a contract mercenary. Liam Flynn, a researcher. Uh, Dr. Daniel Cooper, a, uh, a research scientist. And Lori Clayton who is a, uh, a corporate executive there to monitor the previous ship's, um, the previous ship's mission. Now, uh, what did you learn about the mission last episode? What do you remember learning? Because it has been about a month since we played, so I do want to just check in. I remember their names because I wrote that down. Okay. Uh, in the ship's files, uh, Mike, your character learned a few more things about the previous mission, as well as where they had been, uh, and they had picked up some things. While they were headed around there, um, okay, uh, while they were headed around there, there was um, uh, an altercation that occurred inside of the sick bay, where a strange, oblong-headed creature that had been in the process of dissection was investigated uh by your captain there uh as well as uh by captain miller and davis uh it came to a life uh destroyed uh the captain's helmet almost destroyed his head uh and was put down by a uh by a combination attack from the two of you uh before you could actually catch your breath there however you heard that the montero was set on a self-destruct sequence racing back there um the three of you the two roughnecks of course uh which consist of uh cham rye and and leah Oh, Davis, uh, all rush back to the Montero uh, and are attacked by a strange, bulbous-headed, eyeless black creature out of some horrific nightmare. You were able to kill it, but not before it skewered Cham through the stomach, revealing that there was not human blood inside of them, but the white, viscous, artificial blood of an android. Cham, or Lucas, as the production model would be known, offered to sacrifice themselves by driving the Monteros uh, out of the Cronus's um, uh, basically danger zone uh, and letting it explode. Uh, however, through a series of fantastic rolls, you were able to retrieve how many barrels was it? Did you write that down? Oh, no, I didn't. Um, uh, I think it was six. It was however many would we decide, determined would fit. Yeah, I think it was six. Um, I'll, I'll probably be wrong. That sounds and... right. Yeah, because I did a really good job at it, so I managed to retrieve some. Yeah, I was going to say eight, but six hmm. might be correct. We'll say between <laughs> six and eight. Because <laughs> uh, for some reason, my notes don't have that in it. Six to eight barrels. 
Okay, sounds good. And you made your way back to the uh, back to back to the Cronus as the Montero exploded as its drive detonated, taking all of it and the fuel that you were unable to retrieve with it, as well as a huge amount of your profits. Uh, so that is where we are going to be picking up game right there. Does anybody have any questions before we begin? I don't think so. Uh, just a quick one. Uh, yeah. Rolling mechanics for this one again. Uh, okay, we just so roll our stuff plus the stress dice. I remember that much. Yep. So keep your stress dice as a different color if you can. Uh, and, and you're looking for sixes. That's right. It was only sixes. Now, okay. if your stress dice come up, any stress dice comes up as a one, that means that you have a stress reaction. I don't really remember how damaged I was. Uh, you had a couple of points of damage. I think I lost the sheets between, like being sick for two weeks. Uh, I believe that you had uh, one point of damage on you. Oh, yeah. It was more than that because I was gutted. Say two. Okay. And was I damaged after the whole faceplate thing, or did I just get real lucky with that? You got real lucky. Yeah. Um, you yeah, got real but lucky. You're low on air, aren't you? Yeah, you. Oh, I have no air. You I have, have no he's, air. He's, li he's li living on ship air. So the the thing about you, James, is had I got a single success of damage on that roll, you would have died. Yeah. Oh. That that was the deal with that. It's if it crushes your head, you die. Okay. Cool. But but I got flat, and uh, it basically or no, I got it. It just took the armor from your helmet. Yeah. I and I like was like, oh well, I guess this is dramatic. Yeah, I had like two points of suit armor, I think it was, and then they got crushed, yeah. Yeah, or yeah. one or two points, something like that. It's been a couple months. Yeah. Someone will correct me in the chat, or in the um, in the bottom. Okay, uh, anybody else have any more questions about mechanics? Uh, we just, I remember I'm down to, I think, two air. You're down to two air, and at dramatic moments, uh, basically we will, anytime you basically exert yourself, you will roll to see whether or not your air goes down, your supply. Uh, and the way that works is you make a the equivalent of like a stress roll using your uh, your suit's cap capacities, and if you roll a one, it goes down. Mm -hmm. uh, now I believe that uh, does anybody remember if your suit supply degrades? As in, if it starts at a six and you lose one, do you roll your current supply? Yeah, you roll your yes. current supply. Yeah, okay. we're rolling our current supply. Okay. So it should get it. It kind of it'll drop quick, and then it will kind of stabilize out until you get unlucky, and then it's gone. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, and all right. um, and because I don't know how guns work, because I'm a Canadian that doesn't really shoot anything or hunt. Um, I found a shotgun that had one full reload as okay. well so what does that mean for like actual bullets like shots i have because i fired it once at to kill the thing that was kill eating james well let's go take that let's take a look at that real quick so uh the way that guns work in this uh synthetics aerial vehicles repairs gear Bonus. Uh, so bonus indicates the modification you get to your close combat or ranged roll when using the weapon. Damage is the base damage that the target suffers. If you roll extra sixes, you deal. You can deal additional damage if you choose. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm just asking how much. Like, what does full reload mean for bullets I have? Uh, I'm just checking. Like a shotgun. <laughs> I'm just checking that. I'm just checking that. Yeah. Uh, so. Oh. You I think it? it's like the stress dice. If you roll ones, then you count as empty. It's similar to that. I, think, I don't remember yeah, I think, specifically. Yeah, I think it is dramatic supply. Um, so I think it's page 96 for you. 90, oh, oh, damn. I was on page, like, 120. Uh, so, checking supply. Ammo. Most firearms in the oh, world of Valence have large enough magazines you don't have to worry about counting individual bullets. However, when the tension rises, you risk wasting ammo and emptying the clip at the worst possible moment. I love this game. I love this game so much. Uh, so whenever you fire a weapon, you roll one or more... Uh, and roll one or more of your stress dice, you have emptied the magazine in the attack and need to reload. Uh, so, what oh, okay. that, so what that means is that you are always going to do this. Um, okay, so it's basically when you're stress dice. So it doesn't have an internal supply like air. It just has, like, when you do your panic roll. 
<laughs> you you empty the gun. That's You're like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> I don't care what it is, I'm emptying this gun. Yeah. Now, does anybody have the overkill ability on their character? Okay. No, just, just the alien. Just the alien. Overkill's so good, guys. Uh, all right, so with that, let's start Alien. Chariot of the Gods. Y'all ready? Yes. All right. <clears throat> The explosion rocks the space behind you. The waves rippling through the darkness of space strike into the Cronus, risking knocking you each off your feet. It rumbles beneath you. You'll hear some shouts from the crew that you rescued from the Cronus as they begin to finally shake off some of the cryo slumber that's gumming up their internal workings. The world shakes. And I need you to do me a favor, Lucas, as you are coming in hot. Uh, you are going to have to do me a favor. Uh, you are going to be caught in the tail end of this compression wave. What I need you to do is make me a pilot roll to f make your way into the vehicle bay of the Cronus. Okay. Um, how do I go about doing that. So you make a piloting roll, which means that you are going to use your, uh, so that is piloting. It's piloting plus agility. Yeah. If so you I think I must use the skills from my cover because there is no listing of skills anywhere where they say Android stuff is. Yeah, you just, you just use the note I sent you that says just add plus three to those two stats. Okay. So that is what well, you Because we were debating whether or not, like, I still use Cham stuff or not. Yeah, you well, you don't use Cham's motivations. Well, yeah, no, we were talking about skills, though. So. Yeah, yeah, no, you use, you use okay. you, you use the skills. You just So add, I do not have pilot. <laughs> so you just use your your stupidly high agility. Okay. So I, and that's the number of dice I roll, correct? Yes. Uh, and can you do me a favor and do that at a minus uh, let's see, it's a shuttle. It's not meant to be near explosion, so I'll say a minus two. Okay. So it's minus two dice, right? Minus two dice, yeah. Okay. The dice system for this is actually really easy. And what was the good rolls again? Uh, sixes. Got one. Okay, you did manage to get one. All right. Uh, so getting one, you are going to be able to navigate back, cresting this and kind of wedging it inside of the... Um, uh, making it inside of the Cronus's vehicle deck. The vehicle bay. You slide it in, and as you do, it's it's a bit rushed. Your control cabin thrusters scrape the bay walls and ceiling on the way in. Uh, I would like everybody else on board to do me a favor. Just roll me your agility real quick to see whether or not this knocks you around at all. You can actually okay, just yeah, we're it just yeah, we're in a different part of the sh the ship. It's still gonna basically be like someone jumps on your trunk while you're driving. Do we get to add any skills to that? Because I, I have a skill in mobility. Yeah, add your mobility to this then. Oh, sweet. Awesome. And by the way, because this is a new engine for me, don't hesitate to ask questions if you think that there is a rule that I am misinterpreting or that uh, I might have forgotten in the past month. Because I did review the game before today, but I didn't like reread the entire book like I did before last episode. Uh, one for me. One for you. So you're fine. You get knocked around a little bit. Um, I rolled uh, one on a str on a stress dice. So. Okay. Uh, and two okay. successes. All right. Uh, so you were making your way back into the central chamber, uh, kind of like the main thoroughfare as you were headed that direction. You are going to. Uh, I think I'm with Lee, and I rolled uh, nothing. You know, I think so. You're going to get knocked around a bit, basically. You're just going to okay. be a little dazed. Uh, and if you do any action in the next little bit, I might give you a minus one on it, just because you're a little, a little okay. like, a little knocked around. Uh, it's not really damaged, though. Uh, okay. And let's go to stress. Because my stress die resets, right, once I have a panic attack? I forget. I uh, no. I think they stick around. Yeah, they stick around until, yeah. you, until you take uh, drugs, relax, or, or interact with your weapon. Or your special item. Right. 
Uh, all right, so what I need you to do is roll me. Uh, so you're going to make me a panic roll. You are going to roll... Uh, you're going to roll a d6 and add your stress level to it. Okay. Six. A total of six? Yeah, I rolled a three and then I have three stress, so six. Okay. Uh, you're going to get knocked around and for a moment you're just going to feel the fear and the sweat just begin to coat your spine. But you keep it together. You manage to gather yourself and hold on, but you are going to be pretty rattled at this point. Today has not been your day. Cool. Everybody else get at least one success? Krista? Okay. All right. I would like to take some drugs because I have those on me. That sounds good. Uh, and I need you to do one th one more thing, uh, and that is, uh, Lucas, I need you to make one more piloting roll uh, as you wedge the ship inside. Uh, this is to make sure that uh, you don't harm the canisters that you've brought over from that violent landing. Okay, so make this, this could roll. be a short game. This can yeah, make this roll flat. Uh, one six. You got one six on that. Yeah. Okay. All right, so bringing it in, there's going to be a horrible screeching noise as you come to a grinding halt on the other end of the bay. The canisters behind you rock, tilt. You said there were eight of them? I think we were sneaking somewhere between six and eight. Okay. They clang together I loudly. Be six now. <laughs> And you wait for the sound of tearing metal and decompression for whatever chemicals are slowly descending into their half-life. And nothing happens. Meanwhile, across the ship, uh, you had a question, Robin. Oh, I was just looking for, I was looking, I was trying to find the page with the things, because I wrote down which drugs that Leah found. Um, so you found a number bay. of things. You found, don't forget that you also found nearby a bunch of uh, medical vials. Yes. So you'll have those as well. But uh, I'm going to take, take a nap relieve, which reduces all stress. Okay, by how many? Or does it just take it all down? It just takes it to zero. Oh, damn. Yeah. All right. Yep. So is that a pill? Or is that um, an... And it's injectable instant, okay. so she okay. will take that. Sounds good. Uh, raising... Well, I'm just looking behind myself, and you're just like... <laughs> Are there any side effects to this drug I should know about? Is this something we just commonly do? Yeah, it's, it's a... Uh, basically, that is the equivalent of, of like giving herself a morphine shot. It's called nap relief. It's probably more subtle, like just taking mm -hmm. insulin. Yeah. I would no say one's it. like, look how dramatic I am. It's like, whatever. I'm like working a double shift. You tonight. know what? This is going to be like taking diazepam. This is basically like, you've got to shoot sniper wolf. <laughs> a deep cut there. All right. Mm. Um, so you pop that in and you feel the immediate relief spread to your extremities. Now, where is everyone on the ship right now? Uh, looking at, uh, at where I believe you are, uh, let's see. I think that means that... Uh, I forget where we came in, because I was at the med bay, but we had run down to, to where the Montero was docked. So I forget so where that was on lock. the map. Yeah, the so the airlock, airlock was on the, on the right side of the ship. Um, I know that Wilson was in cryo. Uh, along with um, along with Rai, uh, and Rai had gone out to see the explosion, and I believe yeah. it was just Wilson left in cryo by himself at that point. Then, yeah, yeah. with the other with the NPCs, yeah, yeah. holding holding a gun um, at my side, but not threateningly. Yeah, that sounds good. And then, boom, that meant that uh, uh, Lucas slash Cham is down in the vehicle bay. 
All right. Uh, now that leaves you with the uh, the host of of new crew people who are here. Uh, quick reminder of them, just so that you are aware. Um, uh, let's see. Johns is a, uh, a a vaguely kind of dusty skinned Caucasian man in his forties um, with kind of a low hat, kind of like soulful eyes, like kind of kind of sad. Um, kind of sloped shoulders. Uh, Reed is an African American woman in her 30s uh, who is built like a tank. Uh, Flynn is um, looks like a, kind of a mix of of Irish and Asian descent with a really shitty mustache uh, and dark hair. Who is uh, in his late 20s and kind of nervous. Uh, and uh, I believe that uh, he was complaining about having a headache a few minutes ago. Uh, Cooper is a scientist who basically looks like every every bearded scientist hippie from every movie. You know what I'm talking about? The white beard, the, the horn-rimmed glasses. Uh, and Clayton basically looks like Meryl Streep. Um, with kind of like a little bob. Uh, it's you know what it is. It's 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 Meryl Streep with blonde hair and Ripley's haircut. Yeah. All right. Uh, so Wilson, as you were there, the ship rocks. The the cast of the of the uh, the Cronus is going to um, catch their breath, and Clayton is going to turn to you, the corp over liaison, and say. I'm going to need a full status report on what I've missed. Do you mind? Uh, yeah, we should compare notes, I think. That sounds excellent. Do you have a quarters or... Yes, I do. Is there anything left of a bridge on this ship? I'm gathering from that explosion that that means that your ship is not doing well. I can only imagine what the rest of the crew is up to. Well, we should have no trouble with uh, your competent crew getting the Cronus up and running and getting back toward Earth or at least a station nearby. So the ship was functional when you all took a nap? Because there's some scratches on that door. Mr. Johns? Um, the, sh the ship should be functional. Um, it... I mean, it's, it's, it's been 75 years. Um, um, you know, take your time. We can get ourselves together first. Your time. There's a lot, there's a lot going on. Um, we should be, should be able to with, uh, with your manpower to, to get it back up and running. Can I do a manipulation roll on him? Yeah, please. What would you like to try? <laughs> I'm okay. going to attempt to inspire him to like can take control of the situation because my my crew is probably panicking being on a, another ship with a situation, and okay. I think uh, I think with my guidance and perhaps Clayton's, when we compare notes, we can give him the information to get things under control here. Okay, so we're, we're we're looking him to be the leader. Okay, I need you to give me a minus two on this roll. This is in direct opposition to his personality. Awesome. Also, and I, I get, do believe... I'm still uh, rolling stress dice, right? You're still rolling stress dice, yeah. Uh, what'd you ask, Robin? Uh, I, I, re I remember that um, also at some point um, Wilson also inspired us and succeeded that I think on the, like, the next roll that he makes we are agreeable with him. Like, yeah, yeah. Like in that situation. Yeah. yeah, basically, you're on his side in the next con. Like you are, you are predisposed to agree with him, particularly in arguments against the captain. Yeah. Like you don't have to agree with him, but if they're making the same case, like the same strength case, you'll lean toward him. Okay. Just, just remembering that because yeah. I had a note for like. <laughs> Sorry, Miller. <laughs> it's totally good. It's all good. Um. All, all right. Good. Until it isn't. <laughs> Uh, well, sir, yes, I will do whatever I, I can to help, but 
it, it seems to me that this is a, uh, well, this is a Wayland operation now. Um, so I'll absolutely get the crew working and I'll get the ship up and running. I'll take charge of that. Uh, but I'm going to need some guidance from, from the two of you. He looks at you and Clayton. So that I know what our priorities are. Absolutely. Acting captain. And then I'll look to Clayton and kind of motion that we should go talk. Okay. Get sure. your crew together. Flynn rubs his scalp. Mm. Hey, uh, did any... Did, uh, ah. Mm. Mm. Did did your crew head up into the med bay? Uh, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna. I think I've still got some residual problems from cryo. I'm gonna go look for some nap relief or something. Does anybody else? Is anybody else having any any? Ah. Mm. Maybe. You and the medic go up to med bay, see what you can get uh, together. Yep, yeah, sir, I am the medic. Um, but, uh, um, I'll take him up, Cooper says, kind of stroking his white beard. I'll get him up there. Cooper is slowly turning into Sean Connery. I'll get him <laughs> up there. I'll get him up there. There we go. That's the voice. That's the voice he's going to have. I'll get him up there. Come on. It's all fine. Thanks. I appreciate it. Coop. Uh, so Cooper and Flynn are going to head up toward Med Bay. Um, and as they round into the main hallway, uh, they are going to come across um, uh, probably the lot of you that are standing there. They don't look in particularly good order. Coop looks... Cooper looks a bit a bit drawn, a bit wan. His cheekbones very visible, his cheeks very hollow. But Flynn is clammy at 20 feet. He looks like he's kind of recovering from a hangover. A bit green underneath that pale skin, uh, which should be a nice ruddy color if it matches any other, like any like part of him, really. Um, as, as he stumbles your way... Um, um, I'm gonna say Kayla doesn't notice them because yeah. she's because we're I'm personally screaming at the captain and punching him in the chest, going, "You hired a motherfucking stint on our goddamn fucking yeah. ship, Leo!" Like, a bitch. what the fuck? The, the fucking alien? You fucking a fucking android? Fuck yeah, Cap! What the fuck? You know what? Are you let's thinking? let's transition out to this. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I don't Ka think we're Kayla, what's going Kayla. On. Stop it! And I'm gonna like grab onto her wrists if I can. What the like, fuck? Why do I picture hey. the camera being in a sense of order and then panning through the wall and showing complete disorder in the hallway? <laughs> okay. Listen, listen. The uh, the the corpos arrange the hiring pool. I don't get to, I don't get complete control over it. They're the ones paying. They're the ones who put her. Uh, you could have at least fucking told us. I didn't fucking know. What you know what these corpo types are like. Jeez, Christ. I, I'm the one who's on your side. I'm the one who's actually out here with you. Well, what okay? are we going to do? It fucking just drove back into the, this fucking ship. Look, what whatever is going on, like, I, I, I don't know what the hell's going on with Lydia, all right? But what matters is that we are all here, all right? And... Uh, Hell, I don't know. Maybe the synth can help get us out of this. I don't like the idea any more than the rest of you. But try to keep it together, all right? Now, we got a job to do. What We've got this ship to recover. Th listen, listen. This ship is our way home. This, is our, this ship is our prize. Do you have any idea how much this thing is worth? And do you know how much fucking murder things are on here? We'll clean it out. It's been dormant for 75 fucking years. There could be a whole colony of these things. Stepping out I of never... cryo at this point, uh, Wilson and Clayton are both going to hear uh, that line that the captain just said, that Miller just said. 
about how much this thing is worth. Don't worry, Miller. I'm pretty sure you'll get your paycheck once we're done. Go on, Clayton. Let's go talk. And then they'll walk up the hallway the other direction. That's hey, nice. where are you taking them? Need to know basis. Did you know that? Uh, I'm Cam operations. Was a synth? Yeah, of your ship. This is Me. not your ship. Go talk to the acting captain. I think this is a pretty fucking need to know, Wilson. Get your shit together. Go Wilson. check the rest of the crew. Wilson, make sure that do not give orders to my crew, or I will hold you as mutinous. This not is your, your ship. ship, sir. Says no, but he's part of my crew. crew, and if and if he's trying like a. And when it comes to it comes to a field operation, he sure as hell is not giving orders to me or my crew. Or the did rest you know, of my crew, sorry. Wilson, did you know what the fuck Lydia was? Fucking white blooded synth? A what? Mr. Wilson, was it? Clayton says, turning around an icy glare aimed directly at the heart of you. Your crew. If your crew doesn't like receiving orders while they're aboard the Cronus, they're welcome to take the exit. I absolutely agree with you. I think they should get an order. The way I see it, you are all employees of Wayland. Which means you signed a contract. Your crew exists for that contract. No contract, no crew. So what you're saying is, I'm out here with nothing. You'll still be paid, probably handsomely. Enough to retire off to whatever podunk part of old Earth that you'd like. I want, eno I want enough to get my own ship. Now, if that's an option for me, then I might be agreeable. But if it's not, and I'll probably like, and I'll like, like kind of half level the uh, the flamethrower in their direction, because as far as I know, my payday just went up in smoke, trying to save your damn asses. So I feel like I'm owed something. Experimenting and dissecting these creatures that are murdered. Wait, what? The rest of the crew? Yeah, they got something upstairs. It was like half human. And I think we all need to calm down. I'm sure everyone would love to know that Wayland Corp is experimenting <laughs> with. <laughs> Are you really threatening me with a flamethrower? Really? This yes. is this is what you're yes, devolved to. <laughs> Alright. You didn't see what we just fucking saw. Yeah. Miss Reed. A moment of your time. An incredibly stocky muscular woman will round the corner and uh will train a one moment, let me just check her equipment list. I'm pretty sure it's not helpful for 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 negotiation purposes. Or maybe yeah, yeah, for, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, or maybe it is very. Uh, so she has uh, an Armat uh, 37 A12 shotgun. Yeah, that's exactly what Leah, Leah's holding too. Do we have a problem is here? Leah holding hers? <laughs> Yo, yeah, Leah was like <laughs> aiming at the fucking. Oh, monster. I meant, I meant, did that come from our ship or did that come from this ship? Did we grab? Oh, her she shotgun? found it. It came from this she ship. Yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> so the uh, the woman rounds the corner, looks at you. Uh, you know that model's particularly good at burning up all of the air inside of a space. You're more likely to burn your own selves and burn your own asses. Then you are to actually hurt any of us, whereas this little baby 
can liquefy you at 20 feet. Kayla's gonna step kind of in front, like, face um, Vincent. Good. Are you then, fucking reasonable? She's she's turning her back to them and just lowering the flamethrower and just looking at him with a, like, <sighs> just trust me and turn back and go, yes, ma'am. Good. There's no reason for any type of misadventure at this point. Johns, what do we need to do to get this hunk of junk moving again? Well, if we're, um... If... It seems Kayla like you've got Kayla will cut the... in with a bunch of techno babble of, like, what she's figured out on the ship and what needs to be fixed. Okay. So... Uh, the engines basically require some work. So that means getting the reactor control room up and running. Uh, and then you need your comms array running. Because the comms are down, the engines pilot. are down. We need to get the core put back together. We luckily have a pilot. So if you give us our time and our space to get this functioning, we can get you home. I don't see any problem with that. John's Perfect. is going to just stand in the middle, holding his hands out towards Clayton and toward you. I don't see any problem with that. I, I think that that is a great idea. Now, we're all stressed. There's some really fucked up shit that's happening out here. Okay? But we're going to get through together. You got the air scrubbers working, which is great. It's a good first step. I think... We should all j just take a breath and do our best not to try to do any uh, desperation negotiation. Okay, no, no uh, extortion, please, Captain Miller. And no corporate BS, please, Clayton. She smirks, and you're amazed for a second that her makeup is that perfect in spite of cryo. It's not a suspicious detail. It's just, like, the off-camera, the makeup artist just did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> you have the run of anything you need to do to get the ship up and running, okay? I'm going to go and see if I can get... If I can get in touch with our mother and... Uh, see if there's anything else that isn't on our diagnostics right now um besides that uh you know i'm a competent pilot can happy to help you as well if you're a good one whichever yeah. of you is the pilot hey happy to help you when we get this through okay um i'm gonna go see if i can get the comm systems up and running i'll go work on the reactor I'm Perfect. gonna go take a look at the bridge and try and now that we have the power, see what what we're working with. That sounds fantastic. I'm go gonna ahead. go see about this synth. What? Well, someone has to go down there and see what the hell's going on with it. I'll go uh, with you. Now, real quick, Christine, what if what has uh, Lucas been doing at this point? So you've managed to park in the lower deck. Are you heading up the stairwell? Well, is it a lower or is it an upper? B deck is the vehicle bay. So to me, A is top, B is next down. Either it... Wouldn't it be? I don't know. Like, reactors to me seem like they should be at the bottom. Sure. Then uh, it yeah, is Yeah, I the... think we were doing it upside down originally. Yeah, and okay. then we, like, halfway through last game realized we were upside okay. down. Okay, so then the, the, the deck... The, so you are on the the upper deck right now, and so the deck beneath this is B deck, right? right? Yeah. yeah, so it, yes. yeah, it's B deck is where the vehicle bay says it is. So are you headed up, or where are you headed? What are you doing? Um. Well, I think, okay, I landed the shuttle with some stuff on it. Nothing's blowing up yet. I think I'm going to look for a toolkit real quick mm -hmm. and see about stapling my guts back together real quick. Okay. Um, apparently I can take a shift of work and a contact roll in order to repair all lost health, 
but I think that's a lot of time. It is a lot of time. So do you want to try um, to hide yourself to do this? I want to at least, like, stop leaking. Okay. Horrendously amount. Like You're not leaking horrendously. I was leaking a fair amount, I think. Yeah, it's your, you're kind of like a radiator. Yeah, so I kind of want to slow that down, maybe shove some stuff back in, staple me back together. Okay. Cover it up a little bit more. <laughs> so it's not quite so immediately in their faces. Okay. So not not ba- not taking the time to heal, but just taking the time to... So yeah, you kind duct, of duct, duct tape it up, it. basically. Yeah. Cool. So you can... Maybe you can... duct tape some of the critical stuff together so okay. that it's not going to... So it's not going to give you any health levels, but you can clean yourself up. Yeah. So okay. that moving is not going to just, like, potentially make make everything worse okay um so if anybody wants to come up to the bridge or what goes down to the bridge with me and see if we can get everything running i'm going to check and see how our comms are doing and i'll check in with mother after that i'll i'll join you to the bridge happy to have you what's your name davis davis johns albert johns Call me Johns, call me Al, I don't care. How about I call you when we make this out alive? Sure. Nearby, uh, Wilson and uh, Clayton can head back to uh, to her play, her corporate suite to talk on the lower floor. Uh, so that's down on deck C, two decks down. Um, The rest of you uh, will be able to take the stairwells down, um, either on the side docks or the elevators on the side, um, to your respective locations. Uh, Johns is going to head down um, to the command station, uh, and as you are are getting ready to head down, um, Cooper and Flynn, the, the scientist and the medic, who have both been pretty quiet and were kind of trying to stay out of the conflict, uh, kind of like backing into into cryo at that point uh, are going to approach the lot of you and uh, Flynn's going to say you said there was something up in medical did you find did you find any nap relief or any I've got really, I've got really bad cryo sickness. What do you need? Do you need to stay awake? Do you need to... I need painkillers. All right. He's not doing well at all, Cooper will say. Hand over a nap relief. He'll try to grab it and his fingers are are just shaking. You're going to see the tips of his fingers are almost kind of bluish almost like they have uh, frostbite or the blood is pooling there. Here, let me do this for you. Thank you. I have ever seen cryo sickness this bad. 75 years will do that to you, Cooper says. I feel like Cooper needs to have an accent to differentiate himself. Is, can, is a, He's Sean Connery, isn't he? Oh, fair. he's Scottish now. Cooper's Scottish now. Done. 75 years in cryo sleep will do that to you. All right. Come on, laddie. We'll get you set up. I've got to make sure that uh, nothing else got lodged around. Could be some caustic chemicals up there in, in medical. Down Watch there. out for any weird things. There was a thing that looked dead on the table and it attacked the captain. That's a strange what are you one. Guys, doing. There were some strange things that we found on the archaeological mission. That might have been one of the mummified creatures that we found presently. Mummified means dead, though. Aye, it should have. Captain Miller, do you mind? Do you mind escorting us to what you saw? Well, I'd rather, really rather deal with the synth downstairs. Is it really that much of a problem? 
Well, what are since like, like now? it made it to the sh- it looks like it made it to the ship, so now it's somewhere in your systems. I, Captain, as as much as I am uncomfortable with Leah and not knowing, she did save me, and I don't think oh, she Kayla, means relax. Harm to I don't the mean ship. I don't mean that she's going to hurt. I I don't think it's going to hurt us. But I'd really rather keep tabs on it. <laughs> Fucking head. All right, let's get you up to medical. I don't, I don't care. I can't get him up by myself. I'm not as strong as I used to be. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with you, um, Davis. You are heading to the bridge. Yeah, I'm gonna go look at help, Mister Johns. Miller will like put put an arm and like you know kind of hold him up with that one and then help him along. Okay. Yeah, Kayla sure. will do the same on the other side, so that um, Reed doesn't have to. Or sorry, uh, Cooper, Cooper doesn't, doesn't have, have to. to. You said that there's a synth downstairs. Says, uh, uh, says, Reed, shouldering her shotgun. An injured one. A da- damage. You need to have a conversation with this one. I think so. If one of you has to go up to medical, I can go downstairs and escort you. Okay, in that case, why don't I go with Reed and Captain, you go with Cooper. All right. <clears throat> After you. Hot stuff. She says, looking down at your flamethrower. Oh, so, uh, the captain still has it. She's just... Hmm? Cause I, I, oh, you're I going with Reed. Reed? You're going with I'm Reed. going with Reed. Yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah, bad, my bad. Damn. Now. I, I <laughs> lost a good line. That was a good line, though. That was a good line. <laughs> uh, I will head down. Okay. I can't so. wait to hear the Scottish guy say that. To... Uh, uh, it's a bit of overkill, don't you think? All right, Uh, heading downstairs, uh, we're going to cut down to the Corpo Suite. Uh, Heading down into the Corpo Suite, the door is going to open loosely, uh, and Wilson and Clayton will enter. Now, the Corpo Suite uh, is actually quite a bit nicer than the other parts of the ship. Corporate suite. One moment, please. It's actually a very spacious quarters, at least it used to be. It was one point probably the most luxurious spot on the ship, with a full bed, a couch. But now, the bed is soaked with blood. The couch cushion has its stuffing torn out by a, like a rabid pit bull, and the furniture in the room is destroyed. Shit. Well, not ideal. Looking around the room, you can see that the mattress is completely destroyed. Underneath, uh, there is a small small, uh, basically like a, like a container box, kind of like a toolbox there. Um, there's a wall safe built into the far wall and a wet bar uh, that was practically cleaved in two. It's splintered and wrecked, and there are actually a few bottles strewn around. As you walk inside, she glances over at it. Fuck. Help yourself to a drink, Wilson. Bound to be a few things still. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna meander over and see what remains of the bottles. Okay, I'm gonna roll. Let's see. Uh, a five. A five is going to be there's gonna be some whiskey, and a two means there's some tequila. Oh, my favorite. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're gonna go uh, clearer to darker. Uh, it is gold. 
I will take a swig from the whiskey. Uh, the whiskey is, uh, it is, you know what? It's an Irish whiskey. It's uh, single filtered. It's okay. It's a little yeah. peaty. Uh, but it's strong. She'll head over to the mattress, scrounge around beneath the blood soaked exterior, and is going to uh, pull out the case. Inside, you're going to see that um, uh, she pulls out two vials with these strange like suction cups on top of them huh. it's been a hell of a day how are you holding up I'm holding up so what did we just retrieve here here or there this is just oh. to take the edge off if you need it I'm willing to share with you uh, I'm all fine with the bottle but I mean here what is this that is well, complicated for one we picked up something back on uh, on that world something strange let me just pick a pick of what she's willing to share. One sec. Another Okay. Uh ooh, actually, sorry, one sec. So I just realized that in the in the previous uh, episode. I believe that I said that Cooper was complaining of headaches, uh, but Flynn is complaining about headaches in this episode uh, because these NPCs are disposable. Um, so in this case, Cooper was complaining about headaches, but then Flynn really took a turn for the worse. Okay, that's the way that the story is going to progress. Like someone mixed up their. Cooper script. just had a regular type headache. <laughs> yeah, Cooper was just his Irish whiskey was gone, and he was upset. There we go. Clayton grabs what's under the table, heads over to her wall safe, swipes a card, and begins to pull several things out. A computing device, a cube, and uh, you'll see that there are a number of rare cash bills inside. She quickly checks it. Tosses the card inside and locks it again this time relying on a code that she keeps herself between you and good nice to know this is still here we touched down on LV1113 explored some ancient ruins part of an archaeological mission there were some important artifacts I believe they're up in the science lab inadvertently there were some toxic spores that were tracked back onto the ship. It's unfortunate, um, but several of the original crew were infected by the spores. Luckily, we have a very, a very clever science team. Under Dr. Cooper's care, we were able to come up with a cure that neutralizes any type of the tumorous growths that were caused by the spores. Turns them into inert tumors. We should be fine now. It was... Should be. Should be. We've all been inoculated. Should be immune to it. Well, my crew isn't. The air purifiers are up and running, so long as nobody was heavily breathing any of the air prior to the filters being up, you should be fine. But I would recommend that if we have any more of the vaccines, that you all give yourself a dose. However, having an untested vaccine delivered to a crew would probably be rejected by that hot-headed asshole you have working under you. Well, he just lost his ship. I mean, you can understand. He's probably a little upset. (sighs) 
Are you going to be able to convince him to do the safe choice, the smart choice? Look, I like Miller, and I like his crew a lot. They've probably been one of the better crews I've had a chance to work with. They're incredibly competent, especially when they're, like, put under immense pressure. I wouldn't trust anyone but this crew. Hmm. Miller's just... Frankly, I should probably share this bottle with him at this point. He could probably use it more than I can. You're more than welcome to. So long as he does the smart choice and safe choice for the rest of us. Well, he seems to be pretty driven by profit, so as long as we can keep motivating him in that direction. And who knows, maybe certain individuals took out insurance policies on his ship in case something would happen. I mean, sure, there's probably going to be hearings, and as long as we can keep his crew together, he probably won't be hung for it, but... On the other hand, he might just walk away from this absolutely filthy rich. It's hopefully, just a matter of keep, keeping everyone together. Hopefully we all will. Well, I hopefully no I can... I on dying here, Mr. Wilson. Hopefully I can count on you, too. I mean, we seem to have pretty aligned motivations as well. Of course. I need you to retrieve those samples. It's imperative that they make it back to Wayland. Well, I'm pretty sure my comms are probably still working. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can raise the Miller right now. Find out where everyone's at. And I will kind of turn around and see if the radio is working or not. Okay. Meanwhile, we're going to cut upstairs. So actually, I'm going to I'm going to bounce around a little bit because I uh, I've got that that Cooper that Doctor Cooper Doctor Flynn thing messed up, which my bad everybody. Uh, so Flynn is suffering from a bit of cryo sickness. Um, Cooper as well is just Doctor Cooper is kind of reeling a bit. And as you are taking the the elevator down. Um, which I guess you all probably have to be in there together, really, since you're going to be getting out of one level and then the rest of you are going to be going. Yeah, in. yeah, we might as well just take, take the level down. Reed and I will get off on the next one. Sounds good. <clears throat> My clothes just got blown up. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't throw up in here. I'm not going to throw up. <laughs> There was an angel flying over me to love you. What is happening? Is he normally like this? No, no, no he's, he's not. He just... Are you okay? I'm fine. The elevator will click down and uh, open at uh, a deck C which is where the science lab is located. Weren't, weren't Reed, and, or Reed and Kayla getting off at B to go talk to the... Oh yeah, I guess you guys would be. Uh, question for you, as we're yeah. riding along, like, have, like, I am an experienced captain. Have I ever seen hibernation sickness like this before? You've never seen hibernation sickness go over like 10 years. These guys okay. have been like, these guys are like a case study in medical books. Okay. <laughs> um, I was just wondering if there if I, I, I if I knew you, you can give me a medicine roll, uh em empathy and medicine at a probably a minus Ooh. two. Uh yeah, okay. I can try that. Uh <laughs> where is it? Oh dang it. My empathy is really high, but uh where's uh, No medicine. Well no, I just and I just closed my character sheet. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's oh. the trick. Yeah. Right? Ah, Just make up who needs the this? Numbers. Where are you? Wait, you guys don't make up your numbers when you roll. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> uh, where is it? You know, someone uh, in the comments is going to take you literally. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Oh, I know. Yeah, I, I, I've never had a character sheet. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I just make it. You up think you I roll go. better in, in you think, which well, life? Exactly right. You no one would I ever do. know. 
All right, I'm sorry we got a fresh copy from the one you sent me. Sorry, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, I that's don't know fine. where I went. It just I'm actually ran. plus fourteen on all skills. Uh, so uh, if I you are all so Miller, uh, on all of my stats. Got it. You got it. Uh, empathy five, medical aid one. Okay, so I got six dice. You've got four dice. You're at a minus two. Oh, right, right, me four dice, but I do get two stress dice because I got two stress. That's true. And... <laughs> And one success and a one on a stress dice. Okay, I need you to roll me a D6 plus your stress dice. All right. <laughs> or your stress total. D6 plus two. That'll be six. Okay. Uh, so you are going to keep it together. It's not going to kill your roll, uh, but... Okay. We got to stop keeping it cool, man. Yeah, don't worry. That'll come very soon. Uh, uh, inside of uh, of this elevator, you'll take a look, and um, I will say, Doctor Cooper is not acting very standard. He he's acting like he's having like increasingly like migraine symptoms. Um, yeah. Like his eyes are watering. Um, you'll see that actually, there as you look at him, you take a glance back at him. His head is just wet with sweat. His hair um, is slightly patchy along the temple. He kind does of his head. Does his head look a little elongated? No, not at the moment. Uh, he reaches up and scratches the side of his head, and as he does, um, some of the hair wipes away. Uh, I I think I think Miller's like grip on his like flamethrower is gonna like whiten a little bit. <laughs> like, okay, inside like, of the rrr. elevator. Um, and here, why don't you have some hydration? That's supposed to help with hypersleep. Maybe this will help you. That sounds that sounds probably like a good idea. <clears throat> And he will start frothing at the mouth. He drops to the ground in a, in a full seizure. Uh, Miller's, Kayla, Miller's like, gonna back yourself. away. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, throw myself back up against a wall. <laughs> okay, I'd like everybody to take a point of stress as you're in an elevator with a man in a full seizure. Whoa, 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 Jesus Christ! Um, okay, okay, come on. Hold on, hold on, buddy. Hold on. Uh, Flynn is gonna crouch down next to him, and as he does, the elevator is going to grind to a halt. Jammed. Uh, uh, oh, fuck, uh, oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh uh, fuck! I'm gonna run to whatever thing to try okay. to look and see what's happening. Sounds Can good. Can I try and um pour some of the hydration into his mouth? Yeah, you totally can. You totally can. It's a it's an electrolyte solution. Okay, so, so you'll you'll be able to apply liquid. that directly to it. Um, he will start choking. And. Like, I was gonna say, nurses don't come at us for putting things. Rothing, like he is I just know. drooling this stuff out, and it starts letting out this high pitched. <laughs> um, all right, make me a uh, make me a heavy or make me a machinery roll uh, to try to fix this. I mean, I believe it's heavy machinery roll. Uh, do it at a minus two because of uh, anxiety. Is it wits? Uh, I believe it is. It's normally strength, but that doesn't make sense for this to be strength. Uh, you, well, my you know strength what? and wits are the same. It's gonna be it's gonna be strength because you're gonna be trying to like pry open the elevator panels. Okay, and then minus two. Minus two, yeah. Uh, that's one success and a uh, four on my stress, so we're good. Okay. Uh, yeah, one success. One success. Okay, you'll start prying it. It's not quite coming. You're gonna need a bit more. You, uh, what tools do you have on you? Uh, probably has like a wrench. Okay, belt. so so you'll Maybe start. A hammer. Okay, so we'll say that you start trying to pry open the doors so that you can actually like open them up and uh, be able to crawl out. You're gonna start seeing that like you're between levels right now. You could crawl out into the the um. Uh, to the the uh, the vehicle bay if you crawl down, uh, but you can't get quite up into the pr the previous bay. Uh, as you are sitting there, the seizures are going to start. You're going to hear this horrible cracking noise as he arches his back up, and ribs are going to snap from the velocity of that. And then, uh. as, 
as you look down, you're going to hear it. As the inside of his head begins to undulate. Uh, can I try... And suddenly... Uh, yes, you can, uh, you can totally try. You know what? Uh, actually, I need everyone here to make me a panic roll, uh, because that is what's happening right here. Uh, everybody uh, am I me... seeing this? I'm really focused on a door. Every... <laughs> I guess if it's brat cracked, then yeah. You are going, you're going to look back. Let's be fair. Uh, so I need all PCs to make a panic roll, uh, as a creature explodes out of his cranium that looks just like a smaller version of the thing that fought you in the other in the other ship. So a stress roll is just one D6. Uh, the panic roll, so it's a D6 plus your stress. Plus your stress. Oh, God. <laughs> Five. That's a three. That's a three. I'm one on success. Oh, add a actually, one on a panic you know die. Add, add a point to your stress for watching this in the first place. Oh, God damn. <laughs> so if that takes you above six, let me know. I've got two panic die at one. Sorry? You, got, you only roll once. Only you roll, you roll once and you and add, add all of your numbers. stress to it. Oh, my yes. bad. Okay. Again. So, <laughs> all right, five. That's not so bad. Five? So that's with your with additional one. point of pa- stress? Yeah, I rolled a one on my stress die. Damn, now I have uh, ten. Okay, you got a ten? Yeah, because I rolled a four and a four on my stress die. You only roll one you stress only roll die. One. Yeah, but you added a, a die of stress. So I had no, to but add a, a point. Uh, add a point of stress. Oh, okay. It's like a D six <laughs> plus your points in. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So six then. Six. Okay. So okay, you are still keeping die. it together. You keep your sanity in check barely. Uh, there <laughs> is going to be an explosion of blood and gore as this rips out of his head. Flynn is going to scream his head off, and. Um, uh, this thing, I need everybody to draw me initiative right now. So, uh, I'm just going to draw cards. So, uh, I'm going to draw until I get, okay. So the blood burster got a five. Uh, I'm just going to draw for you all until I get something. So oh, Robin, awesome you got name. a three, Krista, you got a two, James, you got a one. That was, that was weird. Okay. Okay. And, and then Flynn is going to get a jack, which means he panics. Um, okay. Uh, let me just check the stats real quick. So there's an explosion of, of motion uh, inside there as the creature bursts out. Uh, and, okay, burster page 40. All uh, I have going in my head is the scene from Spaceballs. Okay, so Hello, my baby. Hello, my baby. basically, right? Uh, okay, so let's find out what this thing does. Uh, the this thing bursts out, and let's see, it's going to be uh, number one, number two, number three. Uh, Flynn is on the ground. I'm not going to consider that. So, and then one, two, three, four. Krista, this thing leaps onto you showing its razor sharp teeth and hisses i need you to make me an additional panic roll right now as this thing hisses point blank at you it's a five it's a five okay all right um it flies into savage raids and attacks any living creature and encounter see the table below okay um as a slow action it can sprint as if, okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just checking how many attacks it gets. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, Neomorph Blood Rooster. Speed three. Holy crap. Okay, it gets three attacks. Uh, it, it It's going to hiss at you, and it is going to bite your throat. Uh, it's going to try anyway. Uh, She's trying to, like, put her wrench up in front of her. I'm assuming you you're you're, yeah. you're gonna try. Uh, what is your okay? Remind me, do we have defense in this system? Oh, I can't remember. We have I armor. Have um, so we have armor, which is we're at a two with our suits. Right. We yeah, have I have armor a suit. Two. Yeah, that counts as health yeah. levels, if I'm not mistaken. I thought it counted as armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it counts armor. as it counts as armor, and then you roll it, and if you get a success on it, it negates the damage. Oh, okay, that's what. It is. Okay, so I need you oh, to so roll. So I your... roll my armor. So you roll your armor rating. Uh, Do I? I don't add my stress with that, correct? 
you don't add Dying. your stress to armor. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is one of these guys. Continue. Okay, throat uh, bite. Uh, oh, God. Two and a one. <laughs> two and a one, okay. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, here we go. Uh, throat bite. Oh, no, that's a lot of dice. Uh, that is, that is going to be a hit. Uh, it is, it bites into your throat. Uh, it is going to deal a point of damage to you. Oh, it's uh, just one? Just one. However, it immediately inflicts critical injury number 61, uh, and triggers an immediate panic roll from you again. <laughs> okay. So critical injury 61. Uh, I'm just going to check that real quick. So it's going to shriek Uh-oh. and embed its gnarly teeth into your throat. Uh, critical injury 61. Ruptured jugular. Uh, this is fatal. But, hold on, let's see how fatal it is. Okay, come on, give it to me. Ruptured jugular. I love the phrase, let's see how <laughs> fatal it is. If, if there's like different degrees of fatal... <laughs> Okay, so uh, the way this works, instant kill. So it's not an instant kill. Uh, Saving your life. To save your life, (coughs) when you have suffered a critical injury, you must receive first aid before you fail a death roll. First aid is a slow action and requires a medical aid roll. Note that some critical injuries are so severe that they have a negative modifier. So you have a minus one on this to heal you. Uh, So you have... uh, So... Uh, uh, just y- so you know, I rolled um, a six on my Okay, panic so roll. you are still keeping it together. Uh, you have to, so every round you roll a death save or a death check. And what's that? Uh, so basically you roll to see if you die. What, what am I rolling? <laughs> uh, so to, uh, to roll to see if you die, a death check, you roll stamina and you cannot push and cannot roll stress dice. If stamina. it fails, you die. So, but that will be uh, at the beginning of your turn, I believe. Let me just double check. Okay. Uh, listed as fatal, you must make a death roll when the listed time runs out. Okay, so the listed time... Now, this time... may not matter because he gets three attacks, right? <laughs> so this is one turn. So okay, he gets, so let like... him continue. So uh, he's going to do one more action. <laughs> and <gasps> uh, with a snarl, the Bloodburster shrieks and is going to move through the open door that you have wedged open, and it's going to wriggle out. Uh, I'm going to do a roll to see if it goes up or down. Okay, it goes up into the main cabin. Oh, no. And... Um, all right. Uh, that is... Uh, okay, after... Oh, and uh, combat is over at that point because it has escaped. Because it actually has the escape ability. Okay, uh, with that, you are going to collapse on the ground. Blood is erupting out of your throat. Um, all right, going down the initiative. What are you doing? Who? Me? Who's you? Yeah, who's uh, you? You. <laughs> uh, I believe. Was initiative high or low? Was it Was it numbering up or down? I, just, I saw that you just posted that in the chat. I forget which one it was, because I think I yeah. remember it being weird to initiative normally, so I think it's lowest to to, to Initiative, to page 87. Which was why I was like, oh darn, the blood thing is going first. I was Drawing I was like, initiative, oh, number, no, one axe first. I'll say that it got a surprise on you, because it, it, it that was a surprise. So we don't get to, like, there's no, there's like no actions for trying to sh- like shoot as it's running away. Right? No, it just escapes. That's, sorry, that's, that's the horror game for you. <laughs> to be All fair, right. it they could have just ran at the beginning of the attack, so that's true. Okay, uh so uh going at so now that we are out of the, the horrible surprise round, we'll say. Uh because we're still learning everything. Uh that means that James, you are going to go first. Captain, what are you doing? Uh well if if he sees that um and the thing runs off, uh he's gonna he's gonna try to help uh, Kayla, he'll like put his hand over over like the stuff and be like, oh, okay, uh, Kayla, Kayla, and he's gonna like lower her down to the ground. Um, okay. And then I guess I will try to heal. Okay, make me a medicine at minus one. Don't forget your stress dice. All right. And Flynn I'm... help. He's a medic. Uh, Flynn is panicking. Oh, fair. Uh, uh, and okay. So let's see here. Uh, 
I have one medical die, and it, what's the skill for that one? Is it is it wits or it's is empathy? It empathy. Ooh, okay, that's actually better for me. Yeah. So it's empathy and medicine. Uh, I will just I'll double check this real quick to make sure. Uh, so so for so six minus two is four, and then I've got four stress dice. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's a minus one on the check because it's a fatal. Uh, added as a fatal minus one requires a medical aid roll. Uh, yeah. So medical aid, and that is the medical aid is the the talent. Oh, totally, yeah, it's only right. minus one. No, medical aid is a skill. Sorry, yes, I that's got, what I, mean. I got one point of it. So I got empathy five, one point of medical. So that's six dice minus mm. one is five. So I got five dice plus four stress. Okay, so I you got a good chance of succeeding. Got... Yeah. <laughs> so five successes and a one on a stress die okay oh. so um <clears throat> you uh make me a panic roll please oh god wow uh that'll be adding my uh seven seven all <laughs> right oh, oh oh god oh god right. that might have just killed krista Hold on. I have five successes and I'm going to kill Krista. Yes. Oh, no. uh, oh, sorry. You got seven? Yeah. Okay. Your stress level and the stress level of all NPC or all PCs in short range of you increases by one. Oh, no. Um, you are going to start twitching. You have developed a nervous tick or nervous twitch. Um, and you are going to staunch the bleeding. Uh, but you're going to just start like trembling and like and twitching as you go. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, Krista, you are going to have the wound staunched. Just looking Kayla, very, very you're, scared. You're, you're, you're okay. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's it's not... He'll, like, look down at the wound and just be like... <gasps> <laughs> he'll, like, visually recoil. Um, meanwhile, nearby, Cham slash Lucas... Uh, the you hear screaming as a nearby elevator lodges itself partway open. Do you want to help or do you want to stay away? I will help. Okay, so as you are hearing this, uh, as you are like staunching the wound, there's going to be a sudden grinding noise as you glance down and see Cham pulling open the elevator that has been stuck. Champ slash Lucas, because you just have the strength for it. You have strength what? Seven? Uh, eight. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to say that for cinematic. Champ already was strong. I'm going to say that, that cinematically, you're just going to like... In the middle of this, you um, are going to... Uh, you don't take stress. So this is what you are going to see. There's blood everywhere. Um, Rye is on the ground like with a staunched wound on her throat. Uh, and uh, Davis, you are covered in blood. Captain, uh, there should be a med kit on this floor somewhere. Do you have a bar in there? Wedge the doors open. Uh, 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 he'll, he'll just like kind of hold up her wrench. <laughs> What oh, the excellent. fuck was that thing? Uh, Cham's gonna try and find... I'm sure there's there's gotta be emergency, like, med kits scattered across all floors, probably. Oh, like, they're actually labeled. Ones. They're labeled on the map. They're labeled on the map, yeah. Oh, are they? Um, yeah. There's just so much on the map. Was there... I guess there wasn't enough room for, for Reed and uh, uh, Johns to take the same elevator as you. <laughs> Well, I, I think he said that John's went before us, so he might have already headed off. Um, but would Reed fit on this with us? Uh. Also, um, visually, so we were we hadn't even got to B floor yet. We were between like A deck and B deck. Yeah. Okay. Cool. For some reason, I was thinking that we were, it was either going to go up to like B deck or C deck. A, so I didn't a know deck Chan is the top deck. That. Yeah. Where okay, we so I mean like yeah. The med bay is on the map, but I'm just talking about like little emergency kits stashed there here There doesn't and there. look like there's any on that floor because there yeah, are there, some around. There are not like any little... on B deck, no. There are equipment, like there's like gear gear stuff. 
Well, I just I don't see anything in the key that says like med uh, yeah. kits. Oh it's yeah, it, there's it's bottom. No, no, it's in the bottom right. There's a, there's oh, two there's two keys. Okay, I see. So oh. There's one in the examination room. There's that on A deck, and there is none on ah. B deck. See, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You'd think on the vehicle deck there would be a med kit, yeah. Like even like a oh, basic, well. like you cut your finger or something, so you have bandage. <laughs> this is your. Uh, do, do you want, it was it, this, this kit was designed by the compliant. lowest bidder. Thank you very okay. much. No, nobody gives a shit. You're disposable. Especially what? you're you're all disposable. Nobody cares. The world yeah. of well, not if you're gonna have a flight finish. That's why they put androids on board secretly. <laughs> You've got a toolkit. You I just can't duct do tape. everything. There are a number of toolkits on this level. Yeah, you just duct tape your guts. Shut up. Well, we found a toolkit, or we found a med kit in the med bay. All right, so, so, so we'll, we'll, I'll Davis the will eventually. will take the med kit and try and bandage up Rye even more. And okay, so John, well, you know what? For the sake of argument, uh, we'll say that um, that uh, John's left earlier, and because that's a this. Is, Dealing with this many people on a ship is a mess. Uh, <laughs> Another deep in space. Yeah, All right. right. Well, uh, regardless, we'll Cham will find stuff to help. So, like, find more stuff to prop the doors apart. Like, maybe a longer bar or something to get it big enough that you guys can slide out. Makes okay. sense. All right. We'll say that Reed was on board with you and just didn't get a chance to act because of surprise. Okay. Totally valid. Eyes. The fuck is going on here, Flynn? Get yourself together. C you guys could be <laughs> hosting those fucking. Things. No, 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 no. No, we we had we had inoculations. We 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 we. we they didn't fucking work on him, did it? An inoculations? What are you talking about? The 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 the, the, the spores. This the thing. God, Coop. God, oh, what's what spores? Okay, what? What? Look, I'm breathing the same. I'm breathing air right now. Like, Flynn's going to pat down Cooper's body, and is going to reach into his lab coat and go, "Oh shit, Cooper! No, 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 man!" And he's going to pull out a full syringe out of his pocket. What? He didn't. He didn't take it. He didn't take it. He didn't take it. Oh shit! Oh shit! It's the scrubbers should stop it. As long as nobody was breathing the air before the scrubbers came on, it's fine. Yeah, look, I, I was breathing the air before the scrubbers came on. Well, we we got a vaccine. Cooper didn't take it. That's what the, that's what this okay. fucking did to him. Okay, G give me, give me, give me. G he'll pass it over to you. I, I, I'm just gonna shoot this <laughs> Okay, just, just, just okay. I'm scared shitless. <laughs> All right, do it. All right, so you got it. Um. What? You should be you should be absolutely fine. Look, we they're they're okay. Um God damn, why did Johns have to take the take the stairs? God damn it. And at that point you're gonna hear uh, this is Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Come over your comms. Um, Captain Miller. What? Wilson Wilson uh, uh, the what was his name? Like Flynn or something? No, you're Miller's Dr. Like, Cooper. Dr. Cooper. Doc, fucking doctor, had a thing in him. Dr. Dr. Cooper just had some sort of creature erupt out of his head and he is he's dead. There's blood everywhere. Uh and uh uh yeah. Um Hold on a second. Shit. And then and then uh, I'll turn off the intercom and turn back to Clayton and be like Uh They need to get the samples. Samples. Turn back. Uh, Miller, I need you to listen to me very carefully. Their uh, med lab, they have samples in there. I we have think we, the things on the ship, it's 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 out, it's moving around. You, we gotta, we, we gotta think, get somewhere safe. We gotta get somewhere Wilson, safe. Wilson, they, I they have, have the samples. It. I grabbed the samples when we were in med bay. Okay, we need to get those. We think that we can figure out a cure to this thing. They came up with a short-term inoculation. Um... We're gonna have to figure out a way to reverse that thing and use it against the creatures themselves. Really nice. Where are Show Where are you? 
the hand over the Emicron. I, I'm working here. Just give me a second. <laughs> didn't, didn't we just lose our scientist? Yup. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wait, uh, Lydia, you don't, you don't happen to have a whole bunch of biomedical stuff in your, uh, cybernetic brain case or whatever. Um, not particularly, Captain. Ah, oh, god damn it. Uh, all right, uh, let's, let's get the hell out of here. Um, hold on, I, I think I, I think I have a plan. Just stay where you are for a second. I'm gonna turn it back to Clayton. Stupid uh, word. do you guys have a synthetic? We did, yes. It's what uh, happened to it? No idea. It was still functioning when everything happened. Did we just for out of character, we yeah. detected a, or there was a, det- a, a synthetic mentioned in the records, but we there didn't was. detect one. You haven't yeah. found it yet. So okay. there's not, nothing yeah. moving around on motion. Oh, yeah. Who has the motion tracker? You do. You do. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I think I, I think I, thought I, passed, I think I thought I passed it off. I think someone. I had it when we were walking together, so okay. I might it might still be in my pocket. Okay, can we get out of this goddamn elevator? Reed will yeah, say. Hold. Yeah, um, whoever one of we should keep that tracker out. Uh, can we get this elevator moving? Uh, yeah, I can or- get it moving if I get a hand in here. Let's just take the stairs. A little less chance of getting trapped. Yeah, well... But Cham will push a toolkit in and finish wedging the bar down to hold the door wider open. I can give you a hand. Uh, Trying to get this elevator working. Yeah, okay, let's... uh, Well, that's a problem then, because there ain't no stairs out of the vehicle deck, just two elevators. We can go to the other one on the on that wall. Let's just go to the other one then. It'll be less time. That thing yeah. is still really close. Take out the mall. So what? Keep an eye out. Okay. That thing was fucking quick. It's only about about what? What is that? Um. To get I across. I have no idea where my character about, thing is. About twenty meters. To get from this elevator to that elevator. One mine? Ah, that one is mine. Okay, cool. It's only about 20 meters to get to that elevator. The one across the way. All right. Uh, we sprint for it. All right? We're just going to... We're just all going to go as a group. We're going to go... We're just going to sprint for it, okay? All right. This thing went up and... No, went up to the deck above. Well, what about... Rye, can you move much? You're looking banged up. What about Cooper? Chris he's he's dead. dead. Once we got this thing whole thing figured out, then we can come back and get him, alright? He's ain't nothing going on with him. Hell, once we get out of here, we can even depressurize the bay and like uh Fuck. vent that thing. Fuck man. And preserve him. He was a good guy. He was a good yeah. guy. Good guy and we'll celebrate his dedication and we're not celebrating loss. absolute fucking shit yeah. i almost died because he made himself a goddamn science experiment what? fuck no. that he he just god damn it flynn get yourself together and let's get out of here you got uh, a gun i got a gun left side right side flamethrower in center wounded at the back uh kayla will hop out like slide out the actually fuck that the- android first uh, before Android goes ahead, um, Kayla's going to hop out and kind of face Leah for a second, or Lydia for a second, and just kind of looking at the ground, hold a hand out for a handshake. Lydia will kind of look and reach. This is the exact same handshake you're used to, like the it, clasping forearm, forearms. It's everything is as normal. She'll kind of nod for a second, take a quick, quick glance at your face, and then... <clears throat> and start walking. <laughs> okay. Lydia, I think we'll pick up a, a wrench of some sort. Like something big, long, and metal. <laughs> yeah. And Kayla will probably do the same. Uh, Vincent will follow after with a, with a flamethrower level, like swiveling around like a mad turret. Okay. There's the sound of your boots scraping. The sound of dripping. 
Screams echoing throughout the corridors. Inhuman noises. You make it across to the other elevator. Who hits the button? I guess I will. I'm probably the first one. The elevator begins moving. Alright. This one's working. For now. Behind you, you hear a scraping noise. I will look. Okay. What? Do I see anything? We're all walking over there, right, as yeah, a group? You're, I'm assuming that you're all kind of clustered over yes. by the door. Uh, you'll hear a scraping sound. You hear a noise behind you as the elevator tries to shut its doors around the bar that is pride, uh, and then releases, dropping the bar to the floor with a clatter. As you turn around to look at it, uh, can I get everyone to please do me a favor? And uh, you are going to make me a roll. I need everyone here to make me an observation roll. Uh, pardon me. So... Uh, they are group. that follows the rules for stealth. Character with the lowest mobility. Uh, so who has the highest observation roll skill? I have two. One? Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to check what Flynn and... This is going to be me rolling against myself, isn't it? Uh, okay, so Clayton does... Clayton's dead, so that's easy. Uh, Flynn has a... Uh, but so, Clayton's dead. What? Clayton's dead? Yeah, C Clayton Cooper. Cl Cooper. Oh, no, Clayton's. No, you're right. Cooper. Cooper's dead. Uh, okay, so uh, it's observation plus wits is your pool. So uh, I've got a six. Anybody beat six? Got a five. Four. Four? Okay. Uh, Christine, does that include you? Mine would be. Sorry, a what two. was the first skill? Uh, it was. So it's it's observ it's your observation and wits. Uh, three. Okay. Oh, wow, that's really low. Uh, okay, so that is going to be Ma. Makes up for my eight and strength. Okay. You know what? I'm going to default to the players rolling this. So whoever has the five. That's me. Okay, I think that's the highest. So, uh, Robin, you're going to roll for everybody. Against me. What? What am I rolling? You're rolling your wits and observation. Okay, plus plus stress dice still. Uh, you Don't always fuck it up. you always roll with your stress dice. Uh, I will say that before you do this, before you do this, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'll say do this at a minus two because you are facing away and distracted by that noise. Okay, because I was going to say, if everyone's looking back, Davis would keep an eye going forward, but... Okay, do it at a minor... Do it at a... No, you'd look back at the noise. You're too jumpy. Your panic levels are too high. So... My panic... I mean, yeah, okay. At least at least do it at a minus one. Okay. Because my stress is still only two, because I took... I'm I'm low from the, the, the nap sleep. Or okay. The nap sleep? <laughs> the nap sleep! <laughs> the nap sleep. <laughs> A nap sleep. Can I have some of the nap sleep? It's been a day. All right. Uh, okay, so don't tell me what you get yet. I'm just going to double check something on my own. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, so allow me to roll real quick, and we'll have a quick roll off. Uh, and did you get, did any of your stress dice come up? No. Okay. They both rolled... Uh, two and a four, so I'm um, good. Okay. dice. How many successes did you get? Oh, pardon me. Uh, boop. Okay, how many did you get? Two. Two. Fantastic. Uh, pardon me one second. Okay. Uh, and Cham, you were the one that was at the elevator door, correct? Uh... Cham Lucas? Uh, yes. Yes. Sorry, I was trying to find the, the unmute button. Totally. Uh, My mouse uh, turns itself off, goes to sleep after inactivity, so. Okay. But yes, uh, Cham had been ordered to the front as the synthetic, so. Okay, that sounds fantastic. There is a horrible noise behind you as that 
as that falls to the floor. Uh, and gl you are not going to see this before it happens then. Uh, come on, action. Perfect, okay, so. Uh, one, two. Uh, the doors are going to ding open and as you turn around, you're gonna see an empty elevator. And then something drips from the ceiling as a black shape clinging to the roof darts down and uh, gets you with a throat bite. Uh, it's going to embed its teeth into your throat uh, and you're going to start splurting blood. That is a critical injury 61, just like what happened to Krista. Uh, that means that you are... I don't know how this works for, for androids. Uh, I'm assuming the same. So critical injuries on synthetics. Oh, please, please. So there is a D6 chart, however you said where it is. Yeah. So it I would say this is a, almost the head dislocation one. Okay. Oh yeah, because they can survive that. The android's artificial neck is severely fractured and its head placed it in an unnatural position. All fast actions become slow actions. Okay, so um, I guess we should, since you can't bleed out, then that's what I'm going to say. Uh, it's going to lash out and is going to tear through the part of your throat and support column of your spine that your head is going to loll against your chest. L and uh, let's draw an initiative. Nearly uh, headless jam. Okay, so alien. Uh, Robin. Krista. Christine. Oh, damn. Uh, James. Uh, Flynn and R uh, Riley? What was her name? Rigel? Reed. 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 Okay. Rigel? <laughs> Rigel. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, so what we have is we have uh, Cham with a one, followed by Alien with a three, followed by uh, four was Robin, then it was five with Lynn, which is about the most useless thing possible. Uh, then we've got James. Then we've got uh, Reed. And then we've got Chahista. Okay. That's, uh, those are the cards. All right. Sounds like a great time to me. Uh, all right. So this thing lashes out, embedding it in. It's embedding its bite into your throat. Cham, what do you do? Um. Well, I have close combat. Can I whack it over the head with this massive wrench I picked? I have you can, was holding. You can absolutely try. So you are engaged right in front of it. Uh, it Skewer it. Uh, the way this is going to work is resolution. You are going to do a con close combat roll. Um, if your attack is successful, you are going to inflict damage upon this thing. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and make me a close combat roll, please. So close combat, and is that strength or agility? It, it, it is strength, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Sweet. Bullshit. Uh, I will double check this real quick before you roll. Uh, ooh. Getting progressively harder to be mad at the android. <laughs> uh, close combat. You are looking at strength. And close combat. Uh, so, and what you do is you buy, buy things with your successes as you go. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, that's three successes. Okay, so the way this works is you can... Uh, so you hit and you inflict damage equal to the weapon's damage rating. Uh, so it's a wrench, so it's going to be like a one, probably. Uh, yeah, I just picked up something big and heavy. Okay, so it is just like basically like a, a wrench. Blunt object. Um, stunts. For each additional six you roll, you can choose a stunt. Inflict more points of damage. You can buy this multiple times. Uh, outmaneuver your enemy and trade initiative scores with them, taking effect next turn. That's not useful for you. Not knock or pull a weapon out of their hand uh knock them to the ground uh hold them in a grapple that doesn't really make sense with this unless you kind of wrapped it around their throat uh so uh, what would you I like to do knock to the ground or something i don't know if there's like a stun sort of option or something that that can have that, that sort of flavor uh knock to the ground would would be kind of like that i would say Hit yeah, so if it's like kind of knocked thing. down splayed so that the others have a better chance at getting at it. Yeah. So yeah. You, that will depend on whether or not it has higher initiative, which 
it does, but you don't know that. Um, mm -hmm. So knocking it to ground. So you'll do that is going to cost you one of your successes, which means that you're going to do. Uh, let's see. Uh, damage for every extra. So you rolled three successes. Yes. Okay, so you'll deal two points of damage to it and knock it to the ground, kind of like knocking it off the roof. Uh, let me just roll its armor real quick. Okay. See if it absorbs any of that. Also, I've just been reading for the rest of us uh, humans. So you can you can block, but it is a reactive that react a reactive action that takes away one of your fast actions. So if you've already used it in your turn, you can't use it as yeah. a reaction, basically. And, and that does not work against surprise attacks. Yes. Okay. Uh, so um, uh, what is going to happen? Uh, you are going to reach up, slam into it. Uh, it is going to take the full brunt of your blow and be knocked to the ground and like looks up and and hisses at you, seeming to have taken no damage. Uh, it is going to... Uh, all right, let's see what it does this round. I think Cham is kind of trying to hold their head up. <laughs> the kind of support. All right. Just imagine it's like, <laughs> you know, like, snap it back. Partially. I mean, they just need to roll a duct tape, really. Maybe I like a say. couple like splints <laughs> hold up right. Won't be able to turn very fast, but okay. Uh, we are juvenile at this point. Uh, can sprint. Well, we always are, yeah. Yep. Is it a? Sorry, I'm just double checking. Oh. All right, I'm on a different chart now. Uh oh. I'm at a neomorph now. That's okay. Uh, grow it, up so fast. It's going to. It hits the ground on its back, flips on its feet, and leaps at you. Uh, it is going to try to attack you again, Cham, because you're right in front of it, and you pissed it off. So here we go. Uh, you may try to dodge this as your fast act. Oh wait, you can't use fast actions because you're your head. Uh, yeah. I guess everything is slow. Okay. Yep. Uh, so, Cham, this thing is going to la launch itself at you, landing on your chest. Uh, you are going to be thrown to the ground. You are going to take two points of damage on top of the one you took prior. Uh, and... Uh, okay, so I think at this point I have six points of damage. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how many I can take before you that. You can take your strength total. Okay. Uh, it knocks you to the ground. More. However, it gets an immediate additional attack as you are on the ground that does not count as an action and cannot be blocked. Uh, so that is going to be another two points of damage as it lashes into you. Okay, that's me down completely. That's my strength. Okay, uh, I, can you look up what happens when you are broken as a uh, as an android? And let um, me... well, I can't die. Um, okay. Uh, it is. Uh, so if a synthetic is broken, roll for critical injury on the table. Okay. Until the android suffers a system shutdown, it can continue to operate, only suffering the effects of the critical injury. Okay. So is meeting your health or your strength in damage? So when you hit zero, just for the broken, or is that dead? Uh, so that's when you hit... Let's just double check this real quick because that hasn't happened yet. So critical injuries. As long as you still have health left, damage represents fatigues, bruises, or smaller cuts. Um, when knocked down to zero health, roll 2d6 and add them together like they are a, a number. Mm -hmm. So roll 2d6, please. Okay. Uh, so pick one as the tens column before you roll. Okay. And tell me what you get. 24. 24, uh, you have your teeth knocked out. Okay, are you looking at something not synthetic? Though? What is the, What page is the synthetic chart? 111. So okay. it says damage if a synthetic is broken, roll on the critical injury for a synthetics chart. Okay. Which is a one through six. I'm guessing what happens is once you're at zero, you just take a critical injury every time. Because now you're broken, right? Every time you get hit, you're just rolling on that chart again until you... Yeah, break. until you ro eventually roll system shutdown, which is yeah. a one in six chance, I'm guessing. So, uh, and you're going to do that when you hit zero, I'm going to say. Because this, this module is not designed to actually use these rules so much as this to be a flavor topic. 
So uh, what we're going to do is roll me a d6. Tell me what you get. Three. Three. Uh, destroyed arm servos. Uh, so pick your left or your right arm. Uh, let's go with left. Okay. It rips that arm off. All right. Uh, and pardon me one second. Uh, so that was when it leapt on you and knocked you to the ground and took mm -hmm. a second attack, which means that it still has two more attacks. Jesus Christ. So let me see what it does. Oh, God. Six. Uh, that's probably not good. Um, and uh, I am going to roll to see if it sticks with you or attacks somebody else. On a one or a two, it sticks with you. Uh, okay. Uh, I would like... Who is the next nearest two? So it was the two people with the shotguns flanking. Uh, that means, Robin, would you like to make me a dodge action? Um. Yes, I will use my fast action. Um. Let me just... I was just at, looking at... I was looking at aiming, but I guess I'm blocking. Um, do, 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 you must declare it block. Blah, blah, blah. Um, you block. Uh, you roll for close combat. Okay. Cool. So you're cool, going to cool. do, you're basically doing close combat to kind of like parry your dodge out yeah, of the way. So strength and close combat. Give it to me. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just now flipping to my character sheet to find, because I was looking at the book. Oh, uh, do I have close combat? No, I have ranged combat. Okay, so I'm just rolling strength, which is two. Okay. <laughs> Plus my str stress dice. <laughs> the stress dice are going to see you through. I rolled a uh, I rolled a six on the stress dice, and I rolled a one on the stress dice, so I got one success and a stress. Okay, would you like to, uh, and I'm just double checking, you can, can you, in combat, you can... You can burn stress, right? Or you can what's the phrase? No. Oh, you, you can, can you can push it. You can yeah. push. So you could re-roll for another point of stress. So you re-roll all failed dice for a point of stress. Uh yes, I will do that. Okay. So that uh, a point of stress that's adding a dice, right? I because it's I'm now, getting confused between. Now how does both. how does that work if you did already roll a point of like a, a one on your stress roll? I so, believe I think it said somewhere that you add you add that one in there. No, but like uh Yeah, but I've already had a panic attack, so does it just not count? That's that's Ugh. the question, right? That is the one yeah. thing. Uh close that combat, is... pushing combat. Come on. Push, 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 push. Push, push, push. Uh only one chance. You only have one as a rule, you only have one chance to succeed. Nope, not that. Uh difficulty, modification. Pushing your roll, you're desperate to seed. Um Okay, it doesn't say when you push and have panic. When you push a roll, your stress level immediately increases by one point. Mark this down. When making skill rolls, including immediate rerolls when pushing, add a number of stress dice equal to your dice pool to your current stress level. Um, so yeah, I guess this means that you're going to panic no matter what. So you don't reroll okay. that one. Okay, so I don't re-roll the one, but add another dice in it. You know what? I guess I guess fails? you would re-roll the one, though. Yeah. Because the it... way that it lists is anything that doesn't succeed. Yeah. But that means your stress level goes up by one automatically. So add an extra die. Yeah, but then I might still avoid the panic attack, but then I'm also increasing every roll yeah. is So basically your, ad your adrenaline's attack. carrying you through. Yes, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. So I'm keeping okay. the one Keep six the one that I have six. and re-rolling Roll with the new dice. Everything added. else. And you want a lot yeah. of successes. That's all I can say. God damn it. What'd you get? I got um a three and a five on my two regular strength dice, and then on my two stress die, I rolled a one and a one. Okay. Uh well, the least uh so uh you were just trying to dodge, so that doesn't mean you lose your, your shotgun rounds. Uh, I need you to make me a panic roll then. Cool. Um, cause yeah, for for every oh, for extra <sighs> I don't so think this does it do for every extra thing you roll choose one of the stunts but it, what is what ha, you for blo oh wait blocking you didn't uh, succeed you yeah. only got one success yeah Rob, yeah I got more successes yeah. than you Oh, I, I didn't know if it's okay. I because I see an, it's thing an, about blocking an, for adding stunts. So it's so I didn't. I thought yeah. No, so it's an opposed roll. So you try to dodge while I'm trying to to stab you. Okay, because the yeah the rules make it sound like you buy stunts for every extra die you get. Yeah, but you didn't succeed the roll. 
Yes, yes, I yes, okay. I was I okay, I, okay. I, I yeah. Okay, so I need you to do me a favor and make me a panic roll. Thirteen. Okay, 13. Uh, 13, uh, you are going to attempt to flee after this. However, um, I need you to roll half your armor rating. So one, cap. One. Because it's just, it's just this, the two from our suits. Yes, so here... Yeah, so you are going to roll that, and here's the deal with this before you roll. You have to succeed. So tell me what you get. What'd you get? Just a second. I haven't okay. touched the dice. Okay. I'm gonna send the photo to the alien group chat. Okay. This is taking a long time. It's a six, but I wanted it to be proof that I actually succeeded. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, it's going to hiss, rear its razor sharp tail up, and is going to jam in you. I got two successes to your one, which means that I deal one point of damage to you that your armor will ad will will absorb. Your armor is basically destroyed. If it hit you, it automatically triggers injury sixty six and kills you. So it is going to lash through your stomach, almost ripping you in half. Uh, and I've got one more attack, uh, which is going to be a five. Uh, it is going to, uh, I mean, who's in range at this point? So you're uh, going to try to run. If is it's, it, if it's yeah, probably me, because I was in between okay. the two shotgun people. Uh, it's going to yeah. try to, it's going to lunge at you and try to bite you then. Do me a favor. And if you want to dodge, dodge. If not, then just, you know, enjoy. Sure. Uh, dodge was what? Uh, uh, agility plus uh, so it's a close mobility? combat roll oh damn okay all I got is three then okay so but I still have four stress dice I mean that helps ah! go adrenaline go save me uh, two, two successes okay let's oh, see it. finally didn't have a one all right there we go okay you know what? Good for you, buddy. Uh, how do you try to to knock this out of the way? How do you try to prevent this from happening? Uh, oh, if that thing's coming, like, so I see that thing, and it's probably jumping straight at me. I don't even think he'd ha think to, like, raise the flamethrower. I think I'm just going to, like, beat it with a thing, like, <laughs> like just use, like, a baseball. You, you didn't succeed that well. Uh, you're gonna oh, yeah. get you're gonna get it between you and it, and it's going to start gnashing at your throat so close that it, you can <laughs> feel its saliva stinging at your skin, and it starts to burn like a styptic on an open wound. And you're gonna start to feel little bits of your top layer dissolve as its saliva touches you. Uh, all right, so that are my three actions, uh, Robin. You're gonna try to flee in your panic. Uh, so you rolled 13 on your panic roll. <laughs> okay. So 13 on your panic roll, uh, means that, uh, you are, you can't take it anymore. You must flee to a safe space and refuse to leave it. You won't attack anyone or attempt anything dangerous. You're not allowed to make a retreat roll. If you have an enemy at engaged range, when you flee? Oh God. Um, okay. How does that work? Oh, is that just fallen cower? No, she is going to she's going to basically scream and run retreat. Uh, if you fail, your enemy gets a free close combat attack against you as you run. Oh, no. Oh, no, Robin. I'm sorry. Uh, Robin, on your turn, you're going to try to run away. And I missed. I actually missed. The tail comes at you. The tail that if it did one point of damage kills you, uh, and it's going to tear through the back of your space suit and is going to miss. I rolled so many fives. It doesn't matter if it hit. I oh, I only have two health. So even if it does one point of damage, that's half my health. No, if it does one point of damage, you're dead. Yeah, it's instant. I know, but I'm saying I'm so little health that it doesn't even really like anything is like deadly to me <laughs> free attack does not count toward their, their actions all right uh so running away uh flynn is going to panic uh and is going to try to run himself uh 
Uh, would, and, would Davis have dropped the shotgun in, in the, the fear? Uh, you do not have to. I'm going to because I'm doing it like it, it, it. Yeah, I don't I think she would just drop and run. So there's a shotgun on the ground for anyone. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to make sense of this post in the chat real quick. So what is the what is the problem, Robin? Oh, that I was just I was just reading the blocking. That's why I was confused about the opposed thing. That's uh, that's just why I was. I was just that's why I was saying I was confused and, and about the blocking because I was that's what the book says and that's why I was confused. Oh, okay, so, so yeah. that's why I was confused about the successes thing. Okay, so okay, sorry I didn't realize that it worked like that. No, you're totally right. Um. So if you had got successes, you so could she, have used those, right? She got one, one success, yeah. yeah. So, um, which means that it got more successes then. Like significantly more because it doesn't, if you don't counter the successes. So um, how would you want have wanted to do that? Would In you... my head, I would have wanted to do a counter attack with the gun. Okay. Do you want to just keep this for next time this happens, or do you want to rewind? No, no, we can get this just next time. It's it 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 it. it I panicked and, and ran, so it's okay. it's kind so, of it's, it's it's silly at this point to rewind. That's fair. So I'll okay, just, so yeah. James, because you just acted when this thing attacked, um, I guess we'll keep the same thing because you got one point on your roll, right? Uh, I got two points on my roll. You got two points. Yeah. Did you, okay. So we'll just say that that blocking occurred and we'll just remember that rule from here on it. So I was okay. thinking that it was an opposed check, like yeah, many no, of the other checks I in the was... rule, but it's the only one that isn't. So yeah, that's why I was, that's why I was saying I was confused. Cause I was like, no, it doesn't fair. say anything about opposed, but if you have a different book and have different rules then I'm going to listen, but this is just what I'm no, seeing as a no, player. No, 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 that's totally that's fine. Thanks. I'm thanks confused. for, thanks for bringing that up. I just wanted to clarify yeah. that because I was like, Oh yeah. God, it's the one rule that's different. Um, <laughs> I gotta say, I do love this engine, but we're just uh, gonna learn it. This is our yeah. first learning experience for it, right? We're gonna. You're always gonna hit the bugs. Okay. Uh. Well, that's the. I guess we'll find out if you're gonna hit the bugs, James. What do you do? Right. Oh. Uh, oh. Damn. Uh. Yeah. So the thing's right in front of me. Uh. Oh. Jeez. Uh. I. Can I? I, I am going to like. I want to just back like like kind of back away, flaming it, and then try to like run for the elevator. It's it's kind of like in the elevator door, like kind of on the ground there. Okay, then I'm flambang the entire area. Just okay, <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, let me just see whether or not it has. Does it have the ability to try to dodge or attack? I don't know if it does. If you attack close combat, you can choose to block the attack to avoid being hit. Blocking is a fast action. If you roll close combat. So if he had a, if he had fast actions left, he could. But if he going on the rules it sounds like he can if he's used all his actions well but then they also say that he has fast actions that can be like he can spend his speed to do a bunch of stuff it's weird as a slow huh. action the neomorph can sprint as if having two run actions but it only that has us but it has a speed score not a anyway it's weird um i think this is something that i'm not checking um, so I'm just going to do that real quick. Uh, but in the meanwhile, why don't you make me a, an attack roll with this? All right. So that's what a agility and ranged combat check. Yes, please. In combat it gets to act one time for each point of speed in each round. Draw one initiative card. Oh, it's one initiative card for each point of speed. Shit. I am an idiot. At the end, at each point of action, I get to do one fast and one slow action. Okay. So how oh. do I do use specific skills then roll base dice equal to their skill level only okay so that means that it can't defend itself okay cool it probably doesn't need to um this is true uh all right so uh everybody who's mad at me in the in the chat for giving this thing too many actions in a row sorry all right so uh i will just randomly give it Oh, okay. Well, that's 
if I draw the next card and it's oh god. So I drew its other actions and they went exactly in the space between Christine and Ra and Raba. <laughs> Perfect. So, so I drew all three of its actions in a row anyway. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright, flam flambe me, flambe me. Light him up. Light him up. up Come up. on! D Ooh. That's uh that's that's five. Five? And one on red, unfortunately. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming that red is your panic die. Yeah. So uh, I yeah. need you to roll me your panic. <gasps> oh, sweet. One. Uh, so that's only a five. Okay, so you're going to keep it together. That does not interrupt your action. That's going to be five points of damage that you deal. Right? Okay. Uh, or how do you want to do this? So you've got a lot of things that you can buy stunt-wise. Yeah, and also I think fire has its own special mechanic for damage where it's like it has to do a test every round or it burns. Probably. Uh, uh, I can I can I uh, like blind and disorient it? Perhaps. Uh, is that one of the options? Uh, oh, I did. Was there an option sheet yeah, for flamethrowers? There are the basic options in ranged combat. Oh, okay. there might be additional ones in flamethrower. Let's go check that because we'll need. You have the books. Let's search. Uh, uh, ranged combat. Uh, stunts for every bonus. You can inflict more damage. You can pin down the enemy. Uh, they, which makes them do a panic roll. This thing doesn't panic. Uh, position yeah. yourself to get a, and exchange your initiative score with your enemy, taking effect next turn. Ooh. Uh, that's one point. Your target drops a weapon or handheld object, or falls to the ground, or is pushed back. For example, through an airlock. It's not near an airlock, but you could push it back into the elevator. Push it back uh, into the elevator. Yeah, sure. That's a giant open door that's now engulfed okay. in flame. So that's one so. of your five successes. Cool. Uh, so I will... Uh, What's the base damage? Uh, that's what I'm just trying to look for. Da, da, da. Where is it? Gear. Gear, 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 gear. Okay, a flamethrower, you are looking at... Uh, no, that didn't help me. Let's try that again. Uh, I think it's incinerator, I think. Is that what it's called? Okay, the incinerator I'm unit so. is a base damage of 2. Uh, okay. And it's fire intensity 9, which means I'm sure that means something to somebody. Uh, yeah, that means it has to do... Um... Uh, it has to do something, otherwise it burns. It's under the it's under the elemental damage system um, for like radiation and cold and all that kind of stuff. Fire is one of the things in there. Right. Uh, okay. So uh, look under ranged and tell me what you want to do to it using using your uh, your success your successes and stunts. I think I okay. So I've got four more left. I'm gonna knock it down. Okay. Uh, and then the rest of it's all gonna just be damage. Okay. So how much damage is that total? Uh, four, I believe. Okay. So four points of damage. Okay. Hold on one moment. Uh, all right. So uh, its armor is not nearly as good, but it is still present. Oh. Okay, uh, it is going to let out that horrible hissing <laughs> noise as uh, you push it back into the uh, the elevator and pin it down. Uh, okay, uh, it is going to be... Uh, you, is that what you're doing with your action? You're doing that, you're doing that? Uh, yeah, and then uh, I think I'll probably run away. Like, Okay, that sounds good. Uh, all and right, then... uh, Robin, you got to run away on your turn, so either you or Mike can roll for Reed, if you'd like. Um, yeah, I also realized I did a stupid fucking thing. What? I didn't read. I rolled all my stress dice and added that for my stress panic attack. Not you... just a d6 and add my stress level. Oh, did you not flee? Um, well, I I rolled I rolled a four four and a two on the th the three dice, so oh, I probably okay. wouldn't have gotten thirteen. No, you probably would have gotten like a seven or a six. Yeah. So um, we'll it's say it's fine. That... I've done a big goof on that. For That's this okay. Whole game, this is this, so. is this is a demo game. So uh, why don't we say that you backed up in fear? Yeah, because on my turn I can try and 
stop the panic, depending on 13. I'm trying to find the table for if I can stop that in a turn or not. Well, what we'll say is that you froze up and lost your initiative spot. Yeah. So why don't we just give you Reed's turn? Okay, sounds okay. good. Okay. So long as Krista's okay with that. Shoy. Shoy? Or you can act after Krista. I'll act after Krista. I'm, okay. I'm also curious about how long the pan... I'm trying to find... I've yeah, you find that. So, Krista, um, this thing is pinned down in the elevator under Flamethrower. Uh, Reed is holding a vigilant action to make sure that it doesn't charge out of the elevator again with her shotgun raised. Can I make a com tech roll to try and shut the elevator? Absolutely. You absolutely can. Um, honestly, you just need to press the button. Okay, I'll do that then. <laughs> I mean, she's just like, uh, ding! Wouldn't the button, but we're outside it, the button would open it. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. You would have to reach inside the elevator to do it. Well, I was wondering if I could just, like, pop off the thing and twist a wire or something. Hence a comm check. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that at, uh, let's do that at a minus two because of the, the pressure of the situation to try to hot wire in a few totally seconds. Totally fine. Whoops. Um, that's okay because my wits is four, my com tech is three, I have four stress dice and minus two. Oh god. <laughs> that's so many dice. We're playing Exalted, folks. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that is woof. One success. One success? <laughs> on all those dice. I oh, got did you get any fives. stress points? No stress points. I mean, do you want to push it? Oh, can push I? It. Yeah, you can push. And then, gain, sorry, what does that do again? So you reroll all failed dice. Yep. You gain and a point of stress. Point. But I get to roll that with it. Yes, you do. Okay. The six was on the stress die. Does that matter? It does not. Keep it. Okay. I didn't think so. Uh, nothing. Oh, wow. All okay. fives. <laughs> I have so many fives in this game. If this so was Shadowrun, you'd be doing great. Right. Uh, okay. So uh, you are going to uh, clear the panel and... Uh, the elevator door is going to start shutting uh, at the end of your turn. Uh, all right, uh, then uh, Robin, why don't you go? Yeah, I'm sorry. I I, I apparently forgot. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's a new system, and it's been a long day. <laughs> yes, it has. Um, it's fine. So I I would like to shoot it. Okay, as the door is shutting, I'll give it partial armor, so I'll give you a minus two on this roll, but go ahead and, and level your shot. Okay. Do, do, do. So, bonus plus two. Okay, so that's just, this is equal then. Um, it is do, do, do. What, friend? Clash. Two. Okay. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't fall on the ground, please, D6s. Uh, I got a success and no ones on the stress die. So that's nice. So how many success? One? One. So base damage is three. Okay. So how do you want to, how do you want to use these stunts? Um, oh, just, sorry. I was just, I was re reading about stress. Ooh, go back to the, the thing I would like to just, actually, I'll just, I'll add fucking more damage to it. Um, put the other success into damage so four damage to it okay four damage uh let me just roll to see how how well it handles that okay not well at all uh there is a squelching noise inside of the elevator uh as your shotgun blast uh finds purchase and uh one moment please Okay, uh, it's going to shriek and start contorting wildly like an insect with its spine severed or a central nervous, insects don't have spines, but you get my point. Uh, it's gonna start thrashing around its central nervous system exposed, going, making that awful shrieking noise. It's like, whoosh, whoosh. Uh, it is very much on fire though. Uh, so James, you just looked up the rules for this ridiculous fire weapon. Yeah, yeah, so you roll, so it's got fire intensity nine with okay. the incinerator unit, so you're going to roll nine dice, and I think on it, I can't tell. You're going to roll nine dice. I'm rolling nine dice. Awesome. Uh, now, Let's you got to, you, did you roll stress on that, on that attack? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you are down a fuel cell. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay. I, I do have one reserve one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I noticed that afterwards. I was going to mention it. 
cool. Uh, I was I was like, oh, this is kind of like, oh, these things just like rack these things. But then I was like, uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, oh, now in the book, it's got like the one that's like a dot with like a crosshair on. It. Is that a one or a six? Uh, the dot with the crosshair. That is a six. Okay. So it's going to take uh, one damage from the fire right now. And it is on fire. It is It is on fire in an elevator. The elevator. Ding! Oh, uh, Krista, did you send it up or down? Uh, no one's upstairs, right? Uh, yeah, nobody's upstairs. Okay, upstairs. Okay. Is there an airlock upstairs? There's airlocks all over this place. Uh, is okay. there an actual airlock upstairs? Uh, no. Well, there... Yeah, because that's where we, we had the ship hooked up to, right? Yeah, technically, you had to come in through, sort of, sort of. You had to come in through this deck, technically, and then you went up the... Wow, oh, I really okay, messed, so I really messed this any. map up. This map made no sense to me. This <laughs> map is... To be fair, this map is very, like... There's a lot. There's a lot, and it's kind of laid out in a very odd, odd way. There is a room at the t above Junction C1, which is, has, like, it goes nowhere. No, I'm, I, I, I got I gotta own up to this. I'm the idiot. Reddit didn't do it. It was me. Oh. It was me. I uh, I put that in the wrong spot. Oof. I'm sorry, guys. On 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 the upside, at least that is an easy mistake to make. Yeah. Whereas us staring at the map, going, "This why is this ship so badly laid out?" At least like it was one simple, easy to make mistake, and not all yeah. of us just being like, "This what is wrong with us, guys?" <laughs> Yeah. That's fair. All right. So, director's cut. The uh, damn ship glitched and uh, dropped you all on the wrong floor. Okay. Uh, where so do we want to send the thing now? Because we everywhere is still, up. <laughs> so, hopefully still deck A, because I don't think anybody is up there. Because no. if we put it up one, it's just going to walk out onto the catwalk and jump on us. If we send it to the next one, it will go into the med labs. Um, if we put it to the one above that, uh, then at least there's nobody up there. Yeah, that's true. Because there's no one still in cryo. Yeah, no send it to A. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Can I? Okay, I'm going to send it up to, to the top floor. Um, is there any way to like make the cryo jets go off and like flood the floor with cryo stuff? Not all the way from down here. This isn't okay. nearly as so high tech as, it, as as we wish it was. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. It was a good idea. Um, I'm, hey. I'm I'm gonna let you in on a little secret that might diminish the horror. I think it's dead at this <laughs> point. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know that. Between the <laughs> shotgun blast and it being on fire still. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, the fire gets worse until it, does. it doesn't take damage. It keeps getting phased worse. Oh, I know. I read the rule. <laughs> it's it's yeah. it's fine. It's fine. It's great. Uh, uh, two hours later, let's cut back to Michael. Do 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 do. Bottle's empty. <laughs> Is, do you feel like a few seconds have passed? But it actually, it's been like an hour. All right. I, I I just got lost in your eyes. What can I say? When I'm with I'm, you, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Profits. <laughs> God, you just. I love. He's, these are just just drinking rain. absinthe and what? Like just seeing mad creatures run past. <laughs> no, that was that was the Victorian era game the other night. They got so high and then they didn't. Uh, okay, so back in uh, back in that part of the ship, um, it doesn't seem like they're really responding to you. I don't know where they went. Uh... Maybe we should go up to the bridge. Maybe we can contact them and encourage them to come up there. Probably. I mean, it's probably the best place to keep control over everything. I agree. After you... Do you have a weapon? Do you have a weapon? Do you, do you need to get one? Do you have a weapon that I could borrow? Mm, unless you want to throw bullets at it. Hmm. Yes, hold on one moment. And she'll reach under her mattress and pull out uh, uh, an M4A3 pistol. Is 
If your captain tries anything stupid again, I will defend myself. That's fair. Good. I'm I fine. think we're we're all on edge. Hmm. I mean, right. he's only my captain as far as well the ship we were on. I think that we should make it, um, we should make our way up toward the, uh, no, not the bridge. One of your people said that they had acquired the samples. Yes, I believe our pilot. Great. And she's probably left John's on the bridge by himself. Maybe. Hmm. Great. Well. What do you think we should do? Is it the bridge or go acquire the sample from your idiot pilot? I'm concerned because they said that one of our crew is a synthetic. I'm at this point, I'm thinking it's probably Cham because she was the only one I haven't seen. And you have one that you can't account for either. That means we have more problems than we're already accounting for. I think the bridge is probably the best place to get some control. And really, if anyone's going to be wanting to go to the bridge, it's probably our pilot. That's a good idea. We'll go there and call them up. After you? Yeah. Let's try to be quiet, though. Can I get you to make me a stealth roll? Moving across the corridor. So that is... Uh, going to be a uh, I believe a let's see manipulation man is it mobility I believe it is I think so so dexterity agility and mobility oh well uh, I don't have a single thing not a single. You want to you want to gain this point of stress to reroll? Yeah, might as well at this point. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, one, two, three. Uh, I got a four sixes. Four six. Yeah. Jesus, did you get anything on your on your stress? No, they were three of them. So. Okay. Uh, and Clayton is going to ooh, try to make a roll. Okay, she's going to succeed. One sec. Okay. She uh, is going to make it alongside of you, uh, moving rather stealthily down the hall. Your footsteps are going to echo on the metal of the floor. Tick, tick, tick. You're holding it together, but her breath is coming quietly but raggedly behind you. Can I just hold for a second here? Sure. I have a small a small cat's paw going under the door and reaching through like some sort of creature trying to look for me literally at this moment. I almost want to get a picture of it. It's it's ridiculous. Terrifying. It's ridiculous. Okay, back in back into the game. The xenomorph is coming for you. I'm I'm I leaving. You I'm the leaving. Xenomorph. The xenomorph. The meow meow morph. I'm leaving that in the in the final cut. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the ship's the ship's cat's being a dick right now. Moving through the uh moving through the main corridor. There's going to be a ding noise as you head down toward the um would you be taking the elevators or the stairs down? 
uh, weren't we in the, uh, so you were kind of in, oh, that's right. You were down in, so a corporate suite. So corporate suite is, isn't that the same level? It is the same yeah. level. Okay. So moving so. up the hallway, um, you'll be able to make it up around the junction and in to the bridge where you will hear the sound of swearing. Fuck. Fuck. John's is there looking quite, quite angry. It's not working. It's not working. God fucking damn it. John's. He hammers his fist into the console again a few feet in front of you. John's? These comms aren't fucking working. They're not fucking working. I can't get them to... Can't. He reaches up and you can see a drop of sweat roll down his cheek as he gouges his fingernails into his scalp. Blood wells up in little half-moon circles. John's, Clayton says, and his head jerks up. And he turns and looks at you, and you can see the whites of his eyes have begun to pop and turn red from broken capillaries. And he's going to charge you. Take a point of stress. Uh, and so will Clayton. All right. So uh, I'm going to draw for uh, I'm gonna draw for John's. Okay, I'm going to draw for you. Okay, and I'm going to draw for Clayton. All right, so uh, he is going to snarl and charge you. You have initiative. Then he does, then Clayton. Uh, I never really let my gun leave my hand, so can I level that and start uh, putting bullets in him? Sounds good. He is at close enough range that he's going to try to counter you. Uh, yeah. But go ahead. Let's do this. Okay, so uh, Johns is going to snarl and launch himself at you. Uh, that is going to be, whoop, 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 okay, and let me just check his close combat, okay, close I got combat. three, you got three, okay, hold on one sec, his face has gone, grown wan, and you're seeing, like, bits of his scalp, uh, that are beginning to flake off, uh, he is, it's John's, there we go, uh, ranged combat he has no close combat but he does have this so let's see if this does anything okay uh he is going to launch himself at you but is uh not going to succeed in in grappling you uh go ahead and what would you like to do with your damage you're you're gonna shoot him yeah okay and did you get any did your stress go off no okay so how would you like to do this damage or as much as, as much damage as possible all right, that sounds good. You're going to put a shot into him. That is going to deal... Uh, what's the base damage for your gun? Do you know? Mm, not offhand. Okay, so... Thankfully. Uh, what type of gun is it? Uh, it's pretty basic. Sir, yeah, sir. it's just a handgun. Okay, did you add the... It was the, the pistol. It was the service pistol, if I'm not mistaken. Did you yes. add plus two to your dice pool for the gun? No, I didn't. Okay, so roll two more dice to see if you do more. Uh, there's one more. Okay, so, so that uh, so four total. You're gonna deal four points of damage to him. Uh, so four points of damage are going to slam into him. Does he have any armor? He does not. Uh, he is going to snarl and rush you. Uh, the bullet's going to hit him center mass. You're gonna see a spray of blood explode behind him, and he's going to roar uh, and take a uh, a swing at you as he leaps at you bodily. Uh, it's going to be... Would you like to dodge with your fast action? Uh, might as well. Okay, so go ahead and make me a close combat roll. So that is strength and close combat. There we go. All right. 
I'm assuming stress dice. Uh, stress dice will apply, and you can push this if you want. Uh, so one on my stress dice and two successes. Okay, two successes. Fantastic. How would you like to spend them? So blocking, you can decrease the damage, counter attack. Uh, he doesn't have anything to disarm. Um, so you can counter attack. Uh, Let's just block it. Okay. Sounds good. So that'll decrease his damage. Uh, he got two successes, so that will decrease the damage as he hurls himself at you because he doesn't have any special attacks, to my knowledge. Double checking that. Uh, nope, he is pretty not. Nope, almost. Sweet. Probably swat his hand with the uh, butt of the gun. Okay, hit him with the butt of the gun. Uh, so he's going to do two, and roll me a d6 and add your stress total to it. Oh, oh that'd be ten. Oh, ten. Oh, now we're getting, now we're cooking with gas. All right. Uh, as you uh, as you do that, you are going to freeze. You are frozen by fear or stress for one round, losing your next slow action. Your stress level and the stress level of all friendly NPCs in short range of you increases by one. Okay. So go ahead and tack that up. Uh, Clayton uh, is going to uh, shriek and raise her gun as well, trying to hit him with a ranged attack. Uh, that is going to be... Uh, that is agility and ranged. That is a plus the gun. Oh, I forgot to roll her stress dice. Pardon me. Okay, good. She did not shoot out the front windshield. That is good. Uh, okay, the shot goes wild, flying around the room. Uh, uh, Johns is going to use his fast action to, to counter that. Um, oh, balls. Uh, so, uh, that is going to be his fast action. So, she raises her gun to fire. It goes wide as he lunges at her. Sorry, guys, I have too many pages in this book tab to figure out actions and close combat. Blocking. Uh, Counterattack. Dealing damage to the attacker equal to the damage rating of your weapon. Uh, so weapon is just fist, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, a... Uh, so what's going to happen is he's going to snarl. You're going to kind of push him out of the way. She's going to fire. He's going to slap the uh the gun out of her hand so hard that it breaks her wrist and the gun's gonna clatter to the ground away uh all right uh mike you are frozen you can still take a fast action uh he's going to snarl turn at you and take a swing at you you can try to dodge or or parry or whatever with a yeah. uh a close combat action i'm gonna try to dodge it okay okay let's see what you get mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, one, two, three. Three. Three successes. All right. So um, you can choose. What do you want to do? Decrease damage? Do you want to counterattack? Uh, uh, you can... He doesn't have anything to disarm him with. So he is going to deal a point of damage to you. If yeah, he I'm just going to block. I'm going to block that. Okay. And you can counterattack. With what's left? Sure. Yeah, so what I will say is the base damage of your gun is one. Uh, so you can basically just like counterattack and just fire another shot into him at point blank. Uh, so that's going to be another point of damage for him. Uh, uh, Clayton is going to dive for her gun, uh, but she's not going to be careful about... No, she's not trying to flee, so she's still in the conflict, so it's not really that. It's not really There aren't really opportunity attacks in this in the same way. Uh, she's going to dive uh, with her fast action to get her to retrieve her gun and is going to try to shoot him. Uh, she has stress dice. Uh, oh, look, she actually did something for a change. Good for her. Uh, she is going to shoot him in the back, dealing a significant amount of damage. Uh, and that is going to, uh, to, to, uh, uh, she, he is going to snarl at you. She is going to raise her gun. Sorry, Johns. Uh, 
and uh, the bullet is going to rip through the back of his jaw, exploding teeth against the wall as it rips part of his jaw up. He is almost completely dead. It is your turn. What do you do? Oh, so is the next turn? Do I recover from it? You recover from it. You were only frozen for one round. Well, then I'm putting more bullets in this guy. Okay, you may do so. Uh, hmm. One success. One success is all it is going to take. Uh, you're just going to do that? Like to... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so with his final gasp, he is going to lunge at you, and he's going to, uh, with his counterattack, is going to uh, slam his fist into your throat, uh, dealing a point of damage to you, but you're going to be able just to, to pull and click. The bullet's going to rip through the back of John's head, exploding onto the console. Do I still have my uh, suit on? Do I get my armor roll? Oh, you're right. You would. You would. You are, do still have your suit on. So go ahead and roll me uh, your two dice. Tell no. me if you get anything. No. No, I take the damage. Okay. Um, I forgot you were wearing a suit. I always assume it was like a business suit. I'm not going to lie. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, and with that, he's going to collapse to the ground. Dead. <laughs> ah, fucking hell. Uh I thought you said your your crew was inoculated. What was that? I fucking know. It should have worked. So your inoculation isn't foolproof. No inoculation is foolproof. Polio wasn't foolproof. There was a percentage. How's your wrist? It's not great. You want me to take a look at it? If you wouldn't mind, that would be very gentlemanly of you. Sure. Here, give me your gun. I think I better hang on to it in case anybody else shows up. John well, should... here, here, let's prop John's up by the door. Just a second. I'll drag him over to the door. Oh, snap. Mike, I just forgot that uh, you shot him, and when you shot him, that's when you froze. So that means that you emptied your clip. Oh, yeah. So we're going to say that you, you tactically reloaded when you shot him. Even though I don't think that you had the actions for it. But you did somehow. It was magic. Well, I, I mean, I could have probably continued to use the butt of the gun and just... And just, like, beat him to death? Him. Oh, yeah. that's good, too. Then, you know what? That's Pro what happened. That's better. Yeah. Probably right in the nose. Just crush his nose. Yeah, I mean, you like, she, she cleared a path, really. Yeah. Here, give me your hand. She'll offer it to you. We'll I'll need... see what kind of damage was done. Uh, it looks like a break. Like she, it's not her wrist so much as her forearm. Like the bone has been like cracked. If like you know what, we're gonna say that it is gouged and lodged through the skin from a compound break. Is it the main hand? So she's uh, shooting off hand. I'm ambidextrous. It's very. But handy <laughs> I bat left I pitch right what I was on the Wayland softball team all the other bisexuals <laughs> I play hockey with the center <laughs> tonsil or oh, puck so good I'm sorry. Have you both losing your shit at me? I just had to make the joke. I'm sorry. All right. Well, we need to figure out a lot of things. Can you reset it? Maybe. Uh, I'm not great at this. 
Okay. Pro I'll probably get the rest of my crew to do a better job than me, or maybe Two your of medic. Us are medics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Get get your crewman or Flynn up here. Yeah. Well, here, just just stick this in your shirt or something. Try not to move it. You don't have to tell me twice. Yeah. No shit. Uh, right. what do you do? Do you, uh, uh, let's, let me just roll for your comms real quick. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Your comms are still functioning. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to get the rest of the crew then and be like, Miller, Miller, where the hell are you? Uh, what is what? Where? What exactly is our situation downstairs? At uh, the point? elevator door just shut. So downstairs, the elevator door just shut. Ding. Um, Cham is laying on the ground, or like like kind of like walking around with their head hanging like um like a limp noodle. Uh, I, I and their arm. Could I try and make a heavy machinery roll to try and like? Yeah. Can I aid that? I don't know. Uh, what the are... contact roll? It's contact. It's okay, I yeah, have it's, that. I can help. it's contact. What are the penalties for for healing someone well, that is synth? Uh, so androids don't heal. Instead, a shift of work and a contact roll is required to repair all lost health points and all critical injuries. Okay, so that'll be like hours of work to do this. So as long as android hasn't suffered a system shutdown, they can repair themselves. Okay, so while while you guys are talking, I'm gonna go over to the. Um, there's like parts and stuff at the back of this deck. So yes. I'm going to start finding the stuff so that we can take it with us when we go meet up with everybody else. Okay. Your comms okay. are going to start going off at this point. <laughs> and you'll hear Wilson's voice. Miller, where the hell are you? I, I think Miller's like probably just like trying with like numb fingers to reload the canister on his thing and probably like <laughs> oh, Wilson, we had a situation down here with <laughs> one of those things that attacked us. We barely got out. I think we did a lot of damage, if not killed the fucker, but the elevator glitch were down in the, the vehicle bay instead of deck B. See wherever you guys are. We're trying to get to the bridge, but the elevator fucking glitched and sent us down here. Who's with you? Uh. Well, fucking Cooper's head exploded, but we got Flynn, Reed, and then the rest of us. Cham, Ryan, Captain Miller. He's Miller is disposed, trying to reload his flamethrower. Oh, look towards Clayton. This like, they got the medic. <clears throat> uh, so, are are you guys mobile? Can you, you get up to the bridge? We're in the bridge right now. We've, uh, we had a problem with the acting captain. We've had to remove him, so, uh, I guess, Miller, if you get back up on the bridge, you're captain of the ship. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, what do you mean you had a problem with Johns? Hey, Reed's going to step forward. What'd they say about Johns? Yes, Krista, what are you asking? The other elevator started moving, right? Yeah, it did. Okay, I'm going to go, once I've gathered a bunch of stuff and maybe, like, hand it well i'm not gonna hand it to lydia because she's <laughs> lucas because they've only got one arm uh but i'll confirm with them that like this is the stuff that will be helpful um then i'll head over to the other elevator to see what's wrong with it uh so the elevator is um uh it is who um uh it looks like it was glitching out as uh part of the bad landing the scraping against the walls probably knock some of the electrical conduits loose. Looks like it seems to be functioning for now. Um, okay. You could take a look at its paneling real quick with a Comtech roll. 
I would love to. Yeah, Any give it to negative? me. Uh, no, you've got a minute to do this. Awesome. What happened to John's? Ask what happened to John's. What happened to John's, Wilson? John's is... Uh... I think he might have done something to the comms. That didn't answer we... my fucking question, she says. What happened to him? Did he burst? Did something burst out him? Like, what happened to us? Like, what happened? Was he infected too? Like, we're not sure. That's why we need to get those samples up here. Don't worry, we have them secured right now. Okay. But we think he might be infected. Something about the inoculation didn't take in him. Fucking hell. They're all ticking time bombs. And as she says that, uh, James Miller is going to no. start having an itching feeling. Your skin is itching and your head is hurting. Uh, you, uh, I sent you something fun, bud. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get gotta get up 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 to the bridge. Ugh. Uh I got oops sorry, hit my mic. Um I got two successes and one stress one. Okay. Um All right. so can I use my stunt for you do it uh you don't have to roll to overcome the exact same challenge in the future so okay. i can continue to muck with this elevator yeah so you've got control of these of this elevator yeah Whoa. perfect i love some of these simple skills like these abilities yeah all right so um, she'll look very happy and then turn around and see across the way miller acting very strange and kind of i think through all this lydia is going to start trying to probably reattach the arm Okay. Maybe stabilize the head a bit, but then start working to reconnect. And okay, As... there's not enough duct tape on this ship. So I think Miller's gonna kind of glance over towards them, and he's gonna start like heading over there. And as you're doing that. From down here, now the entire vehicle bay, the, the next deck up is completely open. You can see catwalks and things like that. Uh, the cargo bays, the air scrubber shafts, and, and so on. Um, can I get everyone to make me an observation roll, please? And I'll have Flynn do it as well, because Reed's paying attention oh, to... Oh, I didn't roll for my stress, one sec. Oh, sure. That's a good point. Does observation and wits, generally? Uh, yes, it's wits and observation, please. And remember, you're only rolling one dice for stress. Oh, I got a seven. Okay, seven. Uh, seven is a fun one. Uh, one success. Uh, you are going to gain a tick as you look around the room after wiring that. Uh, everyone's stress goes up by one. Except Sorry, me. guys. Woo! Okay. Um, I got one success. One success? And no stress okay. panics. Okay, no stress panics. It's going to go up by one. Uh, one success. Um, and... I can just uh, stop masking my own ticks. Perfect. Perfect. Um, as you are walking, you're keeping like a good look around. And as you do, uh, Davis, you are going to see a silhouette. There's a person up on the catwalk. Slump. one success as well oh did you uh so as you are looking out you're going to follow davis's line of sight and you'll see it as well as the light cycle in the room just like as basically you're going to reset the the circuit breaker on the elevator which is just going to cause like a little power fluctuation and there's gonna be tick, 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 and you'll see a shadow cast on a far wall and tracking it up you'll see that there is There's a silhouetted body slumped against the wall up there. Unlike the other corpses that you've seen aboard the ship, though, the ravaged, decayed, or skeletal remains, this woman is whole. 
Uh, I'll be right back. And Davis is going to go up the catwalk, up to find a ladder to try and get up on the I'll catwalk. I'll assume that there is a ladder. Like, yeah. there's got to be a ladder up to a catwalk. Yeah. All right. Davis climbing up. You'll approach. It's, it's a female. A woman leaning against the side of the catwalk wall. She's... Dark haired, cut in a short bob with vaguely, uh, vaguely Asian features. But as you take a look at her, she's whole. She is average looking on the pretty side, maybe. Her eyes are wide open. And she stares vacantly. Do you try to move her or investigate her at all? Yeah, I'd like to investigate, looking for ID okay. or weapons. The back of her drugs. head. Uh, as you take a quick look at her and like pat her down, the back of her head is slick and sticky. You expect to come away with a handful of blood, but instead a milky white residue comes away. Android blood. Found the synth synthetic. Taking a look at this, you think she can probably be repaired. Yeah. Davis will try and like Tuck her up, like, over on her back and try and, okay. like... What's your strength? Take her to, uh, probably not great, too. Okay, so you can drag her. Yeah. Like, basically, like, just drag her down. Um, so from where... The elevators you, come to that level, right? Yep, so okay. she, she basically just has to drag her about 60 meters over to where the elevator okay. is. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, she'll drag her to the elevator and okay. take it down. It's uh, not are terrible. we gonna head up then? Okay. Not a problem at all. As you take the elevator and ride it up, there's going to be a ding as it opens, revealing this woman with the cracked head. It's an uh, android. L Lydia, do you think we can repair it? Uh, uh, her? Lydia, you think that it probably can be repaired, looking at it? Probably. Okay. Um, How old is that one? At least 75 years old. Huh. Is it an older model? Do they need something different? I think Lydia's going to try and look into what model it is, because sure. older ones did not have behavioral inhibita inhibitors. Uh, it is, uh, I'll give this to you, uh, it is an Ava unit, which sounds awful if you're an anime fan. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It's an AVA, uh, so Ava, Ava 6. Okay. I don't actually, it doesn't say more than that on the Android page of like, older models don't have behavioral in inhibitors. Um, so, an Ava 6, uh, introduced by Wayland Yutani at the beginning of the century and now long since discontinued, a female presenting equivalent of the Walter series. Uh, so, the Michael Fassbender robots. Uh, okay. They are sometimes prone to having mental issues. Um, they're prob it's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Um, it's fine. It's it's. Prob Lydia will just dryly recite those sort of facts regarding that unit. I mean, what we repair her and acts weird, put her down. Perhaps we should get up to Wilson, Captain. Yeah, we should. 
isn't looking so great. With that. I'm trying to not look. <laughs> you take the elevator up. Heading up to deck B. And as you do, the camera is going to focus down on Miller. Scratching the back of his neck. Where a very familiar rash that the audience might have noticed by now on the other NPCs <laughs> has begun to spread. And I think that's probably where we have to call this episode. Here. <laughs> Uh, so folks, I hope you had fun with that. Sorry for the map shenanigans and the rules things. Uh, we're going to do another one of these way sooner, uh, if you like this anyway. Um, do you guys have fun with this game in spite of... Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, yeah. I, it's one of those where, yeah, it... it, it I, I think it's being a lot of fun once we actually properly learn the rules to not forget them. Because it did yeah. a great job of... We were talking while you think you were... And I think if it was more of a slow somewhere. burn game where we were doing multiple episodes... Yeah. And we're running regularly. Yeah, the rules we would are really have a lot more of this picked up. Yeah. yeah, I like how I like the ease of the rules. I, it's just uh, hard to find everything, like until you've like really understood where it is or how stuff mm -hmm. works. Yeah. It's a surprisingly large book, really. Yeah. And I, damn it, I want to kill you. I want to kill you guys so bad. I, I probably am gonna kill one of you. I you almost killed trying. Me. You I, almost killed me with your tail. I I really almost, like everyone's secret motivations. That's the part that's driving me insane. Because yeah, like every everybody's trying to do something. Yeah. Uh, yep. Everybody's got something going on, and uh, there are a lot of modules that they're putting together like this. There's another one called Destroy Lo Destroyer of Worlds, and there's another one that's just about to drop that I can probably get for the channel from them. Hey. Uh, so, and I gotta be honest, like I'm really liking Free League stuff. Uh, I have not. So um, I'll tell this to y'all, and I'll tell this to y'all, uh, but we have also been given a few more of their games to run. Uh, most recently, I have been given a copy of Lord of the Rings. Ooh. Their fun. brand new Lord of the Rings Very engine, nice. which includes the weirdest thing I never expected, the Strider edition, for when you want to play the game by yourself. Oh my! Oh, awesome. so there's a version that's of awesome. So I want. I might run. A, I might run that for myself on the channel just to be weird. Oh fun! Because um, <laughs> then um, I have complete I was... creative control. <laughs> Another ASMR thing. Yes. God. Yeah. Don't have to deal with. I'll those just dress like Arvanel. ruining your uh, your game, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so, hey, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much. Uh, if you are uh, on the Patreon supporting us, uh, you got to see this way before everybody else. And if you didn't, hey, consider joining the Patreon, where you get at least one of these every month, if not more, if I have time, um, and we can set a crew together. We're also going to be doing a lot of fantastic stuff. Krista is running Strixhaven. Uh, you'll get that way in advance. Uh, the Dork Pod podcast, which is going to continue with. Uh, uh, myself uh, running with Krista, uh, Christine, and Robin in it uh, with an amazing cast of characters that you will be hearing of very soon because uh, you'll and get join our message. Patreon and support that to pay for my ferry rides. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> the, the ferry is ridiculous. It's like a hundred bucks each way, and if Krista comes out. We have I, to make I sure had they to get make home. three trips with my move, and it was close to a thousand dollars just in ferry fees. Yeah, so please help oh. because I'm I'm helping supplement that for the podcast. <laughs> yes, which is which is oof, big oof, big oof. Yes, um, I think you're going to be supplementing it in rides from the ferry more than anything. I, so I, that I don't honestly, drive but the, over. But the gas is eight dollars a gallon plus here still, right? So it's an hour drive to get you there. Which means it's, just it's buy still, me bus tickets. Just buy me bus tickets. I, we'll, we'll have to see. Like we'll have to see if if gas goes continues to go up. We'll have to figure something out. Yeah. Because uh, mm -hmm. I really need your cowgirl in this game. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so I really excited. want. I'm looking forward to the in person game, man. Yes. It's going to be a lot of fun, and that's going to be scheduled very very soon. Yes. Uh, so, folks, I hope you had a great time with that. Thank you for watching this. And uh, if you want to join our Patreon, uh, please do at patreoncom dorktales along with. Uh, uh, folks like uh, our divine producer DM Michael Gray, uh, Soul Omen and Precarious, who are our demonic producers, or like our princess of the Patreon, uh, Taryn, Amberthist, uh, Eolus, uh, Cubby Gummy, Trezelta, or Buddy, which would be fantastic to have you join us there. Uh, and if not, just, you know, like, subscribe, and smash that bell. We'll see you next time. Uh, remember, in space, no one can hear you like or subscribe, but we can feel it. Good night, everybody. Alien Mouth. Ha, ha, ha.